what it could be, hopefully it's what it should be. This is your boy N A O N A N. What up, it's DJ E F N. Turn Spanish, on niggas, for a second. You, you felt that? I like it. And this is Drink Chance, motherfucking podcast. Make some noise! <laughs> 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 Now, when me and EFN started this part, this uh, is this why podcast, we started. This, this is the exact reason why we started, because we want to salute our legends. We want to give the legends their flowers while they can smell them, while they're alive. These brothers that stand in front of us, in a lot of ways, if it kind of wasn't for them, they probably wouldn't be a Nori, a Capone Noriega, or a Drink Chat. They people paved the way. Around. Yeah, absolutely. The, 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 the label that. Fucked me, they were on first. Right. They were doing it. These guys are legends. These guys stood yeah. here to the test of the time. They're still making music that are dope. They're working on an album right now with uh, Premier and, and Pete Rops. These Crazy. brothers are which, when you call up, look up the word legend, when you look up the word classic, mm. legendary, their pictures is right there. Mm. And I am here to respect their legacy. And if you don't know who the fuck we talking about, we talking about motherfucking De La Soul, baby! Hey. Hey. Now, now, usually on Drink Champs, we start off with the beginning mm -hmm. of people's uh, careers. But there's a big elephant in the room yeah. that I feel like I don't want to go around it. It's like a movie. We're I'm going to start put with the, the elephant in the headlock in the, go in the beginning. <laughs> in the beginning. <laughs> Can we pop that bottle, Mr. Lee, please? <laughs> Let's put this headlock. Because what people don't know is... Information hit the internet mm -hmm. that said that uh, a certain label, which is Tommy Boy Records, which I was signed to at one point as well, and I've, I've made how I uh, stand. I said, fuck Tommy Boy, them niggas just suck. Mm -hmm. It was very elegant. Yeah. It was a very elegant statement for what, for what it's very worth. Very articulate. Very articulate. I thought, <laughs> thought, thought so myself. But when I heard that the fact that they wanted to take your catalog mm -hmm. and redistribute it, <laughs> at a rate of 10%, and that 10% would be split between the three of y'all? Absolutely, yep. absolutely. Yeah. So how, how, did, how, did, how did that even come about? Because the music is not available online currently, right? right? It mm -hmm. hasn't been. It hasn't been. Ever. ever. Wow. Ever. Yeah. Yeah, it hasn't been ever. Not, not, I mean, we, we missed the whole. Not that part of the catalog. Right? Uh, yeah, and, yeah. And before we even get into that, let me ask you something. In the original contracts, they never stated anything about digital. digital. No. Nah, well, that no, didn't okay, exist nah, at the there time. There was no language at the yeah, time. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. okay. So That's what fucked a lot of people. The vague, yeah, yeah. the vague language for it to, to just happen, it, it was never there. It was, right. I guess in our contracts, it was specifically cassette, vinyl, CDs. You know what I'm wow. saying? Wow. Yeah. And CDs was, was, was even in 89 was CDs? I think maybe they probably amended it. Was it just I'm only assuming. Started. No, it was just starting. Yeah, yeah. Right. it was yeah. Started, yeah. I mean, so, yeah, I mean it, was, it, was, it was language in the contracts, but it was real vague, you know? Mm -hmm. it, it could, I, I'm not certain exactly what it said, but it could be something like, right. you know, CDs, cassette, vinyl, in any format. Right. So any it could be that. Or any new change right. that right. You know, may have happened yeah. for. Now is this now? What, how did you get uh, um, this information? Like, a uh, Tommy Boy reached out to you guys, or you guys reached out to Tommy Boy about releasing this? And that? yeah, I mean, uh, Tom Silverman reached out. Excuse me, <laughs> individual number okay. one. <laughs> yeah, he uh, he reached out to us. You know, mm -hmm. just doing trying to do the right business. Right. Uh, I got the uh, I got the, the catalog back, and I, I want to release you guys stuff. Now he got it back through Rhino, right? Because I believe Rhino had it. Oh, <coughs> Warner, Warner was Warner. Warner, Warner yeah. Yeah. Warner, yeah. I was trying to get my thing back at the same time. Yeah. We had pause. Yeah. Um, so, um, he, so he comes to y'all and he says, he at first he wanted to do a, a deal with it, like he. Or. What it was, um, <clears throat> he presented an option, the option we spoke about. Mm. that we felt was unfavorable. It was either we do this, if we didn't respond at a certain time, then he would resort back to original contracts, wow. which was contracts we signed from wow. day one. Wow. So we from responded. We responded in right. saying that, you know, wow. we responded like we were supposed in to. In kind. Right. Yeah. So <laughs> it was supposed to then go from there, but we didn't really get any communication going until the final hour. Yeah. Wow. But pretty much almost what a, about a year or so we kept trying to get in touch with him right. and uh our lawyers was trying to reach out and uh we heard nothing from him 
Because I imagine this had to be like the last route of you guys going to the internet. I, I imagine it was talks, you know, prior to that. Well, it was definitely talks of that. It was a lot of talk, right. you know. Um, it was evaluating what was in front of us right. and really trying to figure out what to do, right. how to approach him, knowing knowing who he is yes. altogether. Yes. Right. We've been in a relationship, yes. nor you yes. know how yes. he is. Yes. yes. So you truly got to think for mm. your, yourself and mm. your team, you know. Mm. And, you know, mm. once we became came to a meeting of the minds of right. who we know we're dealing with, right. it was time to strike. But we did give him the opportunity to speak right. in the very final hour. And then speaking in the final hour, he didn't want to make any changes. Wow. On what he presented. And, and to me, um, <clears throat> now I'm speaking about my own situation, because I tried to get my two albums as well, uh, The War Report. And one of the things, uh, on, in the RE album, he, did, he didn't want to negotiate with me because he said it wasn't recouped. Yeah. And I'm like, who gives a fuck if it's recouped and not moving forward? Right. Why not split it 50 50? You can recoup as you and go. We can along. recoup as we go. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. isn't that the simplest thing? Like, and I'm not trying to, like, you know, like, like, like you know, be smarter than what I'm supposed to be. But what I'm saying is, why wouldn't we go 50 50? I go out there, I go, I'll be happy to promote this shit. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? Some of these kids don't even, don't even, it's like you know what I'm saying? releasing something new. Yeah. So, uh, oh, man. Yeah, this is, this is an emotional topic for me because mm -hmm. I'm, I'm directly affected. Yeah. So when I see you guys, uh, on, on the internet, um, Moving around a little bit, let me let me bounce about. How did it feel to see the hip hop community, you know, stand with you? Like, I mean, yeah, it's 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 always a good feeling. Um, we kind of felt they was there. Would you say I'm sorry? We kind of felt that they was there. Okay. You know, just right. just waiting. Right. Um, I mean, we, you know, from from the climate of what we felt with our Kickstarter. Well, I got the as shirt you, on. The I'll yeah, see yeah. you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. You know that climate kind of told us that right. there are people out there who they, who care. Right. So when it was time to sound off, we kind of felt like it was gonna we was gonna have you know an alliance, but mm. it, 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 it turned out a little Man. crazy, oh, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That, you know, it, it it was. I I honestly say it was comforting. Right. It, right. it felt it, it made the decision feel right. Right. You know, especially for somebody like Hove, who, oh, yep. right. you know, could honestly say maybe been in the room with him maybe three right. times my whole right. career, right. Mm. you know, right. and don't even just know each other through the music. Right. That spoke volumes. Well, you helped raise you know? all of us, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's not so, just the fans, it's, it's the yeah. artists, too. Absolutely, you know, yeah. yeah. Indeed. <clears throat> it's helping yeah. everybody. Indeed, yeah. indeed. And then Nas, who else was Nas? I think you know, Busta. Nas, Questlove. I mean, I yeah. feel like everybody's yeah. being yeah. 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 Roby, you uh, know, Master Ace. I mean, I'm right. sure at one time you know, or another, everybody shared this story. Right. right. Yeah, I mean, yeah, so, right. you know, you see people coming together, artists, fans, whomever, because in some way, shape, or form, they've either heard it and mm -hmm. affected by it, you know, related to it somehow. So I mean, we had even. With the I'm, I'm sorry. We had a few record exec people reach out behind the scenes. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, big up the Steve you know, Stout. He, right. You yeah. Know, he reached out. But yeah. Masters. Well, you know what I'm saying? It's like, in my mind, I felt like it was probably hard for a lot of record exec people to speak out. I don't publicly. think it is anymore. Well, I'm just trying to say, like, unless they have dealt and done this to other artists themselves, so it's kind of hard right. to be pointing a finger. You, you know, you know what it is. It's kind of fly now mm -hmm. to um, own your masters. Like you know, like like back then, like we <laughs> wasn't really thinking about that. Like I'm, I'm speaking for myself, not, yeah, not you guys. Yeah. Like I was thinking about advance. You know what I'm saying? Right. Getting some jury. Right, right, you know what right. I'm saying? Same and thing. Now it's like it's like it's fly to actually own your your, your material. You know what I'm saying? Exactly because right. we want to leave something to your your, your children. Right. Yeah. So the thing about it is like you ever seen a person that you know lives in the projects? For thirty years, they don't they don't own it, but it's their house. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. That's what it feels like. Yeah. It feels like you know, my my I got I got aunts that lived in the project for for nine hundred years. They've right. paid rent, right. mm -hmm. but that is their. Uh, that, that right. She feels like she owns it. Right. Yeah. And like the projects, good, a good thing to do do the projects to do is yeah, you know what, you should own that. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, you yeah. should own it, and that's. Tom Silverman, if you're listening, because I know you are. <laughs> Did you have him on the line already? I know you are. Tom Silverman, if you're listening, this is the best time for you to lead the pack. 
You right. lead the way and say, you know what, I'm going to stop doing business. That's a good in way this, of looking at it. In this yeah, way, yeah, you yeah. can take this, Tom, and you can flip this whole shit, and you can be the winner. Right. You can say, you know what, I'm going to give them 50% of their shit. So everybody, and then and the, the Queen Latifah is going to come out, and nobody by nature, and everybody else is going to say, you know what, this is the guy we, we, we wish we would have knew back then. Right. You can lead the pack. Right. Right. You can lead the pack, Tom, no trust me. No you doubt. know what I'm saying? So we got that out the way. Uh, we could keep going. I mean, you know. Oh, we, we, we'll get, get, get a couple I mean, of shots and we can go, go back, back into it. There but, you go. But, um, I, 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 I say this much, Nori. Mm -hmm. it, you know, I, I, I like to give people the opportunity to change mm -hmm. because we have been given that opportunity. What? Based on how we grew up, where we come from, what, what we could have been doing mm -hmm. based yes. on rap being yes. a thing that has actually been a significant part of mm -hmm growing us to be the men we become, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So I would like to say he would change, but right. I don't know. Right. I don't know, the way, the way we've done business over the years and the man I've sat next to talking right. business with, right. I don't know if he really has the ability to change. Mm. Wow. Mm -hmm. So I worry about that. But, but you know what? Maybe it's, you, you know, sometimes in order for it to change, sometimes you gotta look at yourself in the mirror. Mm. So maybe, so maybe this is it. Because maybe he just doesn't. Maybe he thinks this is it's just us. Mm. Maybe he thinks it's just you. Maybe he thinks it's just me. Yeah. Maybe he thinks it's just Latifah. So maybe he sees this interview. Like I said, he's gonna see this because I would watch it if I was him. Mm -hmm. Right. And maybe he see this interview and say like, we're not trying to be unfair. We're not trying to dis you, disrespect your legacy, disrespect your name or anything. No In fact, we're pr we're proud of it. We want to claim our history together. Exactly. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I, 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 I would yeah. honestly yeah. say. By, by s signing to Tommy Boy right. was a significant part of what their legacy was then. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. You know what yeah. I mean? Yes, yes. I mean, that's the home of Soul Sonic Force. Yes, mm -hmm. Africa yes. Band Bada. Yes. Yes. Jazzy 5 MCs yeah. with yeah. Jazzy J. You yes. know? Yeah. I feel like, you know, we've embodied that, mm -hmm. all of us. You know? Mm -hmm. We've all taken a piece of we that on into our success. Mm -hmm. We've sweated blood, sweat, and tears for yeah, that. Whether yeah. we claimed it or not, we exactly. were all part yeah. of that legacy. Yeah. Yeah. We were all, and it's fair for <clears throat> us to share that. Like, yeah. we should but, benefit from that. But when I hear the, those guys' stories, not that far different. Mm. Well, then it might be even worse. You know what mm. I'm saying? The thing about y'all, y'all are leading the pack. The, the thing that y'all admire is y'all knew how to use the internet. Right, mm -hmm. right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so many people don't know how to use the internet, bro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all used it perfect. Because mm -hmm. you did not diss them. You did not, you, did, you, did, you didn't say, you didn't say fuck Tommy. Right, right. You just said, yeah. I said that. My, my bad, Tom. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, but um, yeah, you guys knew how to use the internet. And so what, what is your, your, your end result? What do you think that we could, we could end with this? What, what is, what, what would, would make? Uh, At this point, ownership. Own it all, right? Own it, own it. Right. My catalog. Right. Mm -hmm. right. That 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 would make a world of difference. Mm -hmm. That would make that would make it that would make it easy to show up for work. Yeah. Right. And do yeah. what we need to do. Right. There it is. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, man. I had a, I had a moment. <laughs> I had a moment, my nigga. Like as an artist, because that shit is shit. that shit is real. Like yeah, like no we work hard for something, yeah, and man. we, we yeah. didn't really know that what we were doing. We were young men. We in front of the world, and you know we it's, it's time to make that right, man. It's yeah, time to make yeah, that yeah. right, man. Yeah, I yeah. feel y'all so and, much. And, and all fairness to the business we've been do right. doing. We've done nothing less than partnerships since they left. Right. So, yeah. right. and here it is, we've been blessed to do a shoe. Right. We've been blessed to continue to tour tremendously. Yes. Yeah. I mean. Library of Congress. Of Library of Congress. Yeah. Wow. I mean, you know, Library of Congress with a catalog that people can't even get. Wow. wow. You know, so, wow. you know, I look at, you know, my comrades, such as yourself. Right. Missy Elliott in particular, when she had a great moment like 15 years after work it and did the Super Bowl. Why? Yo, she did it like a million downloads in work it, if not more. Mm -hmm. So I was kind of speculating what could it have been for us behind the White House? Wow. Yeah, no doubt. You yeah. know, what could have been? What? Just potentially. Behind yeah. being Obama's request. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. You know? All right. To perform right. at the White House with. Common in the roots and wow. doing me, myself, and I. Wow. 
Just be myself. Just be myself. Just be myself. Go on, man. Nigga, got me going right now, man. My hoes and my law, nigga. Let's do it, nigga. Oh, shit. Man, we got to get this right, man. Um, And again, moving forward to to uh, new artists mm. who, who who watching this, uh, I want to, you know, people to know that uh, it was a lot harder to get on back then. Sure. Yeah, you actually yeah. had you actually had to have skills. Yeah. yeah. Not yeah. to say you guys don't got skills. It's just different time and era. Mm-hmm. So, I, and I mean to tell you, you had to outright everyone in your borough and everyone to get to a certain level. It was real, 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 real back then. Yeah. I mean, definitely and, coming from our demographics because. Mm-hmm. I think we our gateway was always trying to get on the radio. Mm. We had to get on the radio to be able to do our thing. I mean, I wish we were able to do it like NWA or mm. Too Short like or even P. I, I wish Trump. we could sell out of the car in New right. York. Right. We would have never had this issue. Yeah. So but our goal was always getting to that conduit, which yeah. was BLS. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, 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 yeah. let's take it Chuck from there. Chuck so out. in the beginning, in the beginning, that that's that that was the goal was. Uh, uh, get on radio. Get on radio. That's the only route. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah, yeah. I, think, yeah. I think for Cause, us, cause y'all have, yeah, yeah. we was cool y'all with plug tuning. Right? Before the mixtape <clears throat> era. Yeah. 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 So you had to go straight to radio. radio. That must have been fucking yeah. hard as hell. Yeah. Or was it easy? Come on, nah, it up. was hard. <laughs> it was hard because <laughs> when you had to even get somebody's attention, like mm. Prince Paul, mm. like you always had to somewhat be co-signed. What? It was very seldom that somebody won a rap contest, mm. like mm. Stetson Sonic or whoever, right. you know, right. or the Fat Boys who right. won a rap contest. Right. We mm. knew Prince Paul, wow. yeah. but I, but had to get his attention first. Right. Uh, mm. Not takes a minute. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Wow. And hoping that the stars just line up, which they did, yeah. obviously. Right. But yeah. even even then, he didn't make no promises based on the position they were, they and, were and in. And Prince Paul was a producer as well, right? Producer. Yeah. 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 The first album, right? right. right. Yeah. Producer, yeah. Yeah. remember, first. that's a signing. Yeah. Okay, yes. Yes. Yeah, yes, no yes, yes, yes. And it's groundbreaking as y'all were at the time, too. That must have, Did y'all think we might like it might be difficult to break this music? Yo, as Mace is saying, success for us was hearing Magic do world, world, premiere, over our record. <laughs> and that's and that it. Was it. And that's that was all you needed to hear. Yeah, that I was, was off that to was the it. military. He was already in uh, architectural school. Yeah. He was off to college. Like, yeah. we was about to move on with life. Yeah. Wow. Off that first wow. single. The, to, to get a re-up, to do like Pottles in My Lawn, we was like, oh, okay, you know. This could be something. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Wow. You know, like. And then it was Pottles <clears throat> and Jennifer. Yeah. And Jennifer was out of respect, an answer to Jambrowski. Yeah. Because right. we was Jungle hanging with the Jungle Jimmy. Brothers at the yeah. time, so we yeah. came with Jenny. So it was like Jenny met Jimmy yeah, no and became buddies yeah. after a while. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, so, man. So, let me ask you your name. Because your name is spelled backwards as Yogurt? Yeah, Yogurt. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And how did you come up with that? What, what is- well, well, Pa started you that. You really like Yogurt? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, <laughs> I was ODing. Okay. <laughs> but Pa started the backwards okay, thing. Okay, yeah, how, yeah, how did you yeah. start that? Um, love this name called Sop Sound. Uh, as a DJ like I just want you know my mother was from the country Waynesboro Georgia she always would say in my house you know you better like eat up everything on your plate like take that bread and sop up the syrup so (laughs) sop sound was like I was a DJ who could blend all these sounds and sop up all these sounds the DJ so when I started back towards trying to be an MC I just turned everything backwards pos sop became pos you know uh, sound became Danu you know what I'm saying God damn it. Let's make some noise for that. I've been waiting for that story for 25 years, nigga. I wanted to. Oh, you want some more wet? I got more wet for you. Yeah, yeah. We got more wet. We got white wine. We got white wine. We got Tiger Bone. You requested it, so we went and found Tiger Bone. Hey, you requested it. Yeah, give me some more wet. Now, you, you, you don't drink? I don't drink, but I'm gonna have some wine. Have some wine. Have yeah. some wine on some champagne, goddammit. Oh, no, we no, don't no. know if y'all I'll know. I'll get, yeah. But our 
show is to give our people <clears throat> they flowers where they can smell them. No doubt. I hate that. the fact that when you got 10 years or more in this game, people want to say you washed up, you mm. old. But mm. in every other genre of music or every other, they say you season. Yeah, mm. no so doubt. So I want to change the genre of music. Yeah, no doubt. And I think I'm cool enough to do it. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, it is. You feel me? Because yeah, I want to respect did it. our legends now. No doubt. Niggas, you, you, you die and niggas be like, yo, that nigga was my nigga. I'm telling you right now, no I doubt. love you. Brothers, oh, my brothers. I love y'all brothers. Y'all raise me. Y'all raise me. I got, yeah, I've heard all your albums, and it would be, I would be less than a man for me to be able to sit here and tell y'all how great y'all are, mm. man. You know what I'm saying? And that's what we got to, our community got to start changing that, man. No I don't take me nothing less to say that you're great. No doubt. And what you guys, your legacy should be. Uh, 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 in gold letters mm -hmm. everywhere, you know what I'm saying? Like no that, that shit don't take nothing away from me, my yeah. brother. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hey, and you, you know that Macy was one of the first to reach out. Yes, as that's a true. Fan. That's like, true. Within the uh, that's true. artists and industry, he was like, "Yo, I'm a big fan. Of what y'all doing? Yo, I can't so, wait to go. Yeah, I'm so, not gonna drink Tiger Bowl with y'all. <laughs> <laughs> don't eat ass. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe he died. I don't no, know. I, I knew he was gonna <laughs> smoke though. I knew he was gonna smoke. That's my bad. I remember we was on Puerto Rican Day Parade right one day, and he was DJing for me, and he smoked the whole time. I was like, yo, you're not going to chill? He was like, oh, man, no, keep it for me. So, oh, man, I'm so excited to have y'all here, mm, man. Mm. Um, so let's go, let's, let's take it back to the very first album. Mm. I want to, uh, that's 1989, correct? Yeah, 89. Okay, yeah. hold on, hold on, I got notes, nigga. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. I got notes, nigga. I'm trying to step my game up. Hold on. All right, cool. All right, cool. Hold on. Okay, yeah, 1989. Okay, 89, excuse me. Uh, Three Feet High and Rising. Mm. First album. Mm. You guys are going in. What is your mind frame? Kids. Who, who, who's out, by the way? Who, who, who's out like that? That's around NWA time, right? Well, yeah, well, NWA, NWA just came out. DOC was yeah. out. Yeah. But, er, you know, of course, Eric B. Rakim, you know, anything. EPMD. anything. Is, is it a tribe out? Because tribe is not even out yet. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Tribe's early 90s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Tribe's not even out. So, yeah, man. So, tribe is y'all, little brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit, that's right. We're going to get to Native Tongue. We got to get to Native Tongue. It's like 900 of them niggas. That was like the first Wu Tang. Yeah. So, yeah, okay, the first album. Yeah. Okay, y'all going in like what is who? Because you know, in your mind, when you making records, you want to make be better than somebody. Mm. Or so who who were y'all? Who was in? Was it Public Enemy? That y'all was like. I don't, know, I don't know if it was about being better though. It okay. Was, I mean, who did we aspire to be like? Yeah, yeah. There you go. That's Run the, DMC. Yeah. Karis One. You know, Ultra Magnetic. Ultra Magnetic. Mm. Yeah, yeah, Ultra yeah. Magnetic, definitely. Mm. Yeah. You know, but we were students of all that. We were students of Treacherous Three and all that. Uh, right. You know. BDP, all, right. all you know. All right. I'm, 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 I'm a little all over the place. Biz is our people, you Biz know. Is okay, yeah. okay. Biz used to come up to the school, you know, to the high school, beatbox and give yeah. out flyers and all. Oh, that. Biz one of yeah. my favorite. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, well. We all love Biz. He, he touched us all the same. Yeah. Trust me. The only He's, outsider yeah. who could come up to our school without the principal kicking him out. Yeah, because cool. <laughs> he's just Biz so likable. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. When y'all see people like Pharrell, do y'all do you do you do you because you know he's he's direct. Hmm. Directly, y'all child, hmm. like you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying, like a Lupe Fiasco, mm -hmm. uh, uh, even like J Cole, like you know what I'm saying, to a even a Kendrick, even yeah. Kendrick, yeah. like when you when you when you see artists like that, do you see yourselves in them? Definitely. I mean, okay. even like Odd Future, like yo, yeah. I, 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 yeah, I see absolutely. that, you know, uh, yeah, you know, yeah. definitely. Yeah, especially visually our future. Yeah, I, yeah. I can see, you know I can see him, uh, him tapping to y'all. Yeah. Now, now, who, who is artists as fans, fans of y'all that you, you never expected? Ooh. Wow, fans of ours. Dave Chappelle's a big one. Yeah, he's huge. Dave La Soul. Yeah. Oh yeah, no yeah. doubt. <clears throat> man, um, man, I never thought Russell Peters. Mm. Oh, so yeah. the comedian? Yeah. Yeah. He was my man. Oh, yeah, from yeah. Canada. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No doubt. Yeah, I got to know Russell over the years, but when I first met him, I had no idea. Yeah, that's a hip hop dude right there. All yeah, the way, yo, all the way honestly, I mean, I'm sorry to cut you, but for me, it was always like to see like hard rock mm. niggas fuck with us. Like, yo, the day I met um when we was rock recording an Anonymous Nobody album, and I met uh I met Twin, mm. uh, and he just came up to me like. Yo, like I'm a De La fan, and like you know, I'm so used to listening to him on all the Alchemist beats and Mob. Oh, Mob Deep oh, yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying. Oh, <laughs> and it, yeah. it, was, it was just like just dope to see how he was really into our, our shit. Like 
Cameron, you know, Cam like Ron, oh, Cam Ron, yeah, you know, yeah, I can see that. I can see yeah, that. Cam, yeah, I couldn't Cam, imagine Cam, anybody that's, that's hip hop like, not being a fan of y'all. Cam, mm-hmm. like, I, I, um, I, I know. <clears throat> The song you know, I know what? That claims to be. You know, that should be culture, like. like that should be like like the first like if you get a hip hop card, like that should be like the first question. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, where are you at in your day, la soul? Mm. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> where are you at, brother? With your, you know what I mean? You gotta pass this course. Bro. Right. You ain't getting no card, nigga. For real, we gonna start making hip hop cards, man. No doubt. Yo, oh, man, yeah. so. But it's definitely finding out the different songs cats like. like yeah. Like Rock Kim like Saturdays. Mm. Cam like I know. Mm-hmm. And that's, that's you think dudes are like a little something harder. Uh, like Peace Porridge or something like that. Uh, but nah, he like Rod like Saturdays. Cam like I know from three three feet high. Uh, so it's funny. Yeah, nah man, that's a beautiful thing, yeah. man. So look, now let me get to uh 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 Tupac now. At one mm. point Tupac had because y'all was cool at first. Yeah, yeah man. D- without yeah, question. Man. So what like when, cool from Digital Underground days? Digital yeah, Underground days. Yeah, 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 yeah. We so would hang out with like with Pac at uh like the you know like Yeah, Pac used to smoke for real. Right. We used to kick it. Yo, so, so where did, the where crazy did the thing beef, is where even did this beef Pac come from? Well it, I think it started from what uh the video for Ego Tripping. Um Were you guys with the big eyes? Well <clears throat> nah, we okay. like we're in this uh, so we're like, we're in this mansion, you know. Yeah. We're making fun of ourselves in terms of like playing off like if we have an ego, but someone's questioning it. So if Dave is riding around in his car, it says like he don't even own it, stuff like that. Had the chicks in the jacuzzi, yeah, yeah like chicks in the ju- and stuff okay. like that. But I guess Pac thought, um, work basically Adrian, who was managing him at the time, mm-hmm. reached out to to our people's writer uh, Tommy Boy, and he was just like, yo, he just feel like um y'all are trying to play off and diss I Get Around video. Oh. And he was like, yo, and he was like, Pac, it wasn't even like a and beef this is thing. Digital Underground Pac, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, that was his first. He just started He just started. Yeah, that's his yeah. first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and, um, with Money B's in that single. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, and it, the way it was uh, relates to us, like, Pac was just, just disappointed because he, he loved us. Uh. I mean, and we immediately let him know, like, nah, like, we had no thought about that. We didn't even see the... the I didn't even see the angle. Yeah, I the angle in it. We were had just, I noticed it, I would probably have said something, but I didn't even notice yeah. it. But like, I mean, like... Like, here it is. Yeah. Had I known when he was alive, I'd apologize, straight wow. up. Wow. Because I didn't, I didn't see that, and, 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 and that definitely wasn't the intentions. Yeah. Right. I and, love the brother. Yeah, and, and it, was un- it was unfortunately you know? weird because when we were told... I meet, we immediately was like, nah, that's not even the case. And then Adrian gave me the number to speak to him. So, you know, that's about that time he had a crib out in Atlanta. Um, I tried to call him. I missed, I, uh, I think I missed his call. I called him back, but I left a message. I was like, yo, hit me back. He never hit me back. But so then like maybe or whatever, a year or so later when you hear, hear what was going on in the album, it, it just caught us off guard because, you know, Pac was people. I mean, I remember a time when um, we did a show out in um, the Bay, you know, great show. And after the show, I'm standing outside and some dude came up on me like, yo, you know, like, you dissing Karis One. I was like, what? Like, I was like, Karis One is a god to me. Like, no, right. no, nah, nah, because you said in that song Afro Connections, you know, you're not a vegetarian, you're not scared of beef. Right. And I'm like, it's just a metaphor thing. And what does that yeah, got to do with Karis One? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Karis One said that same thing. Yeah, you know the bull. Well, Karis One yeah. was a vegetarian, and he thought right. I was. Yeah. So then the dude was was trying to get at me, and Pac came out of nowhere. It's like, yo, young and like that's a you know that's peoples, and like so Pac kind of saved me, you know, wow. from any problem. So I mean, like Pac was always a good people to us. So it was sad when it happened because we just didn't understand where it where it came from. Oh, so you never really got the chance to fix it. Nah, nah well, he like, said he tried. Oh, he no. tried. But oh, then even, I'm boy. talking about like, this may had even been four or five years ago, I ran into a sister at the airport in Atlanta and she was like, yo, Pac was a really good fan of yours. And he, she was like, I'm telling you straight up, like he loved y'all, he was just hurt when it happened. And I guess, you know, at that point, you know, Pac, he bled his heart onto yeah, the Emotional, yeah. So, yeah. Well, that's what it was. Well, okay. God bless you, Tupac. You know what I'm oh, saying? No yeah. uh, definitely. Word. Definitely. Um, and y'all got your own dunk sneaker? Yeah. yeah. Oh, God damn. Wow. Like, this is getting that night money, huh? <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, God we, uh, damn it. How did that come about? We did. Uh, what? 
Yeah, we did two of those. Um, yeah, two runs with them. I think wow. the first run might have been like 2004. Yeah. Wow. Um, yeah. Well, we had the high top the and green the low. Eyes, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Wow. And people thought the highs was like uh, teenage ninja, uh, ninja turtles. They were they like nicknamed them that, but they didn't yeah. realize they were daylight. Like, champagne. champagne. I'll have a little. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Cool. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on. Come on. Yeah. And um, I'm gonna take a Ten years later, we did another sneak. You want a shot of Tiger Bomb? I'm in. Tiger Bomb. I'm in. I thought we ran out. Damn it. Yeah. Yeah. I saw. You know. EFM be leaving it home on purpose. Nah, man. You've been leaving it home too much lately. You called me like 15 minutes before I come here. I'll be honest. You got a whole case in your crib. By the way. I want to uh, let y'all know. So you switched off. Oh, I wanted more. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> I'm gonna let y'all know if you if you're gonna take this. This is we do not claim this. Uh -huh. We do not we do not promote this. Mm. We know that this is the worst thing ever. Yeah, <sighs> we are well aware of this. We need a Surgeon General disclaimer yeah. that comes out. Yeah. In, 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 but we celebrate hip hop. Okay, Dan gave me a decent size. Yeah, that's okay, a decent that's, that's decent size. That's okay, a decent shot. he usually yeah. be disrespectful out here. I don't like that. Don't be disrespectful. We disrespectful. Yeah. yeah. If you say you're gonna take one, because I heard you no, request. No, no, okay. no. I just he was disappointed that we here. Yeah, I was just like, <laughs> he, uh, where'd you get that bottle, Mr. Lee? They went and found it. The, the, the <laughs> Jamaican, <laughs> man, the Jamaican the water, the Dominicans and Jamaicans connected, and it just went crazy. Ooh, we got uh, one more. All right, cool. There you we go. celebrate y'all yeah. legacy tonight. All right. Let me tell y'all, y'all are legends. We support y'all. Nice. We are with y'all movement. <laughs> <clears throat> we love y'all. Hey. We, we gotta keep. We, we gonna do doing that. Hey, hold on. Everybody got a shot. Okay, cool. Salute, salute, salute. Nice one, nice one. Salute, salute. Salute, salute. Salute, salute. Salute, salute. Salute, salute. Salute, salute. What is that? That wasn't Tiger Bone, man. That Ooh. was Lion Bone. That's, oh. That tasted like boiled tire. <laughs> oh, shit. Ooh. God, that, oh, was, man. that was horrible. That's healthy, right? Yeah. Healthy hope organs. <laughs> I hope it is. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> he put it in the ashtray. Oh. <laughs> it belongs there. You're right. <clears throat> it belongs there. Oh, Ooh. shit. Did you ever think hip hop would be this big? Nah. Nah, man. Wow. <clears throat> nah. Mm -mm. I mean, Hip hop was enormous at Run DMC. That was big wow. enough, you know. Yeah. Like walk this way was like the biggest <laughs> yeah. thing. Right? I mean, you know, you couldn't even think how much bigger it could get. The but, stadium, you know, yeah, tour yeah. That they were doing. And I guess, I, I guess, you know, when you a kid, man, all you thinking is, like Nori said, like you thinking just how you gonna <clears throat> benefit from this directly, you know? Right. I'm gonna buy me a chain. I'm gonna be, you know, I'm gonna be doing it, but. You never look at it as, you know, a business and, you know, income extensions like and branding career, and all right. that. Yeah. You, mm, it's you short term thinking. Yeah, yeah, we right. never thought that. Right. But it's nice to see it happening, man. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's a beautiful thing to see us mm -hmm. opening bigger doors and, and getting into bigger and better places. Yeah. And, you know, the, I guess the, uh, m what kind of is where we're at at this time, and it, it, hopefully it can revert back to you know, the artist of a go is his ownership of things. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know, it's good to see the new young folks, you know, doing a business accordingly to mm, a different right. standard. Right. Yeah. But, you know, there's a lot of us, you know, who are even before us. It's like, I always say to myself, why isn't there a Vegas show of hip hop? Mm. You know, why isn't there a show where it's like, like it's, yeah, yeah, like a yeah. residency, you yeah, know? Well, they're doing it now. They're doing it they now. They are? Um, yeah, uh, I think 2 Chains has one. And wow. he's like, he's oh, like, wow. he's wow. like young artist. Uh, yeah, 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 um, yeah. He's at Dreas. I just left LA and um, it was a, a billboard in front of uh, a hotel. That <clears> okay. I was so they're, they're, they're getting it more. To, uh, I think Nelly had one, mm. uh, a res residency. But, but, but and, and I'm talking about yeah. even bigger than that. Like, yeah. you know, Blue Man Group. Why mm. isn't there a right. presentation? Wow. Wow. You know, I think we can go in those directions, and that's where you can begin to incorporate brothers like Grandmaster Flash and right. Melly Mel and Cool Her, Herc yeah. and yeah. people who deserve those positions and Absolutely. who should be part of owning things and yeah. being a part of the history and the legacy of it. You know, yeah. um, we don't expect them always, yeah. excuse me, to put... Yeah to put records out. That's not what, you know, right. we're really expecting them to do, but there should be opportunities for them to reap off of the there thing they- There should be a kickback from, yeah, that to them. from what they created. From what they created, yeah, the architects. Yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely. Yeah. And it's not about that era of saying, our older gods gotta come at somebody and 
and mm. expect something. Free. No, there's enough money to be made Absolutely. where, like, right. as he's saying, and like, opportunity. Exactly. Mm. Right, right. You know. Yeah, I mean, you see it done in other genres. Right. So it's not like we are. Yeah, it's a Motown review. Why wouldn't it be a profile review? Or you know what I'm saying? Like, you can have these artists. And, and, and what do you guys think about like the uh, the, the streaming now, like the the, the, the direct to consumer? You know what I'm saying? Is, is that something that you guys are fans of, or? You know, um, <clears throat> I wouldn't say we're against it. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, because uh, I imagine a time. Um, I remember at one point I would throw a record out mm -hmm. and it wouldn't get to Japan till you know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Sixteen no days later, like, right, yeah. and I remember a, a time where in order for the record to get to London, I had to physically go, go there. there. Right, and right. Damn, I'm, uh, damn, I was. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm getting. I'm old. <laughs> yeah, I just felt old. I'm sorry. No, man. I, I don't know. But you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't know if you remember. I'm sorry, I don't know if you remember. Yeah, we was at your show at Subterranean in, in London. Okay. You got to talk about that. You got to talk about that. Totally shocked that everyone knew your lyrics. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn man, you put it in my car. You put it in my car. Are you going there? Yo, yo, listen, listen, yo. Tell that story. Yes, no, I remember when I seen y'all in. London and I, it was it's London right yeah mm -hmm. London mm -hmm. and yeah and you, I said what y'all doing here you said we got a show in two weeks and I was like why would they be here <laughs> two weeks I had and I remember I remember y'all was doing features y'all mm -hmm. was here that, and I had never I had never knew that that mm -hmm. had never made sense to me until mm -hmm. ten years later <laughs> I said holy shit. I'm doing exactly what they like so <laughs> right, right. yo that shit that shit is ill like Man, how life how mm -hmm. life you know what I'm saying comes together, mugger. I think you just gotta make some noise for that, goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> but, I, but let me get back to the point I was trying to make was, I remember I used to have to physically have to go to, like, to a London or to a, a Jamaica <coughs> or to a, a Scotland or whatever mm. to like promote a record. Now, I can actually drop it one place and you can actually see from the comments yeah. that this guy's from Switzerland. Right. Mm -hmm. This, that, I think that's amazing. That no, is. It is. Yeah, Without absolutely. question. You know that what I'm is. saying? That Without is. question. Well, how, 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 how you feel about it? I mean, there's a give and take. I need to hear the take. You know, the take is, you know, we're not really making no money off this anymore. Mm. Now we're kind of using our music more to promote and get, gain money and residuals off in other areas. Merch and shows. I'll tell you something. When you look at the streaming, the people who pay the most, and I'm not on Jay-Z's payroll, it's title. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Like, why is title giving paying the artists more? If like like Apple, you could put it on Apple. You could put it on Spotify, Spotify yeah. and you put it on title. It, why is title specifically paying more? Paying more is because it got a lot to do with Hove and okay. being pro artists. Right. right. You know the mm -hmm. beauty of his position, in my opinion, is here it is. Now you got a coach who played the game. Right. There's the, all these other coaches who never played the game. Mm. So why never do we all a, just go out and support title? Why, why isn't that And he's happening? banking on that. Like why? He's investing in that for the long Absolutely. run. Absolutely. Yeah. When are we going to like support I, I, our I, own I, for real? Like, y'all are a great example because, like, like, I'm sorry to cut you off, but I, I'm like, when y'all said something, the whole, it felt like the whole hip hop community, like, y'all have power right now. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I, I wanted to let, let y'all know that. Mm. Like, y'all in a position of real power because it's, it's even the young kids. Are, are, are tuned in because they said, you know, Nas is there, Hov is there, and, 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 they, and they, <coughs> to, but the, the, the subject, right. the subject matter is what matters. Right. Yeah, no doubt. So, um, how do we, how do we, how do we uh, uh, capitalize off of and that? Harness right. it. I yeah. mean, it's great to monetize it. It's great mm -hmm. to be able to harness it and and change it, change it into opportunities to earn from. Right. Mm -hmm. But you know, it's like. B because of the s subject matter that we're dealing with right now, right. I also see the opportunity to make legislation, mm. Mm. you know, to help <clears throat> right. future new artists, artists future yeah. artists coming. You know, we could all monetize. There's, there's great ways to, to, to make that happen, but we also got to think that the power is greater than just dollars and cents. Mm -hmm. right. I mean, so I would love to see what comes out of our, you know, madness is legislation changing, man? People fighting and pushing for that. Hopefully, this this will inspire an, an attorney. Hopefully, this will inspire a young entrepreneur or someone who's in the game right now who feels like we need to just change the rules a little bit. Yeah, you know. So, capitalizing the, off of it can be dollars and cents, but we could also do a little. Because even the streaming, 
the business model behind streaming is still unfavorable. Mm. You, you, you know, know I just think Tidal is the best company doing the best they can mm. based on their competitors. Because right. right. they still got to compete. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you can't be <clears throat> Robert Hood. He can't. Right. I mean, much as he trying to be, he, right. he still can't be a fool in business. But do you, you guys have I mean? any of those aspirations to to lead that way or be leaders and in, in, in make your own companies and, and consult companies to, to avoid these things for future artists? Absolutely. I aspire. I yeah, aspire definitely. to be. I, and, I, and a lot of it comes out of these mistakes. Mm. Yeah. Right. You know? Because that experience, we <clears throat> need that. We all need that. Yeah, yeah. And then, yeah. Then the, you know, the, the youth needs that. I'm, I'm always down to be the model for change. Mm. Right. You know, the minute I touch hip hop culture, it changed my life, period. Wow. Based on what I know it, it could have been. So therefore, I was always aspiring to do the right thing when it came yeah. to this, you know? Yeah. I, want, I wanted to learn. Yeah. I was at Rush all the time. Yeah. I will still attribute a big part of my success today to the things I've learned around Elizabeth Street. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. You know, Rush Artist Management. At Rush Artist Management. Yeah. yeah. You know. That was Russell Simmons. Yeah. Much, mm -hmm. much people, Russell, much as Russell people, Russell Chris Lighty yeah. Much as yeah. people have, may have beat, hey man, we was a conduit even for Chris Lighty. Wow. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We, we was black. there before all of them. You yeah. Know? So, and here it is. I, I will say it's been even our <clears> mistakes <throat> in that situation that allow Tribe to do what they're doing, yeah. allow others to do what they're doing, allow Chris Lighty to even be the guy they looked at. Right. To be like, yo, you take over. Yeah, no doubt. You know? Yeah. And one thing I can say, yo, I'm proud of every decision we made, good and bad. Mm. At, least, at least it was ours. Yeah. Right. And we learned from it. At least it was ours yeah. and we learned from it. Yeah, but yeah, it's stuck is, to fucking together too. Without yeah. question, uh, I ain't hear no no no. Y'all snuffing each other. It, must, it must, well, wasn't no internet back then. Yeah, right. it was, <laughs> but they was right. snuffing other people sometimes. Though. Right. Yeah, he's like, I, me and Paul had a, a whole bunch of fights. Like, it wasn't no, niggas wasn't on the internet back then, right. so you niggas ain't put it to that shit. Right, right. <laughs> but but it, I, like like it was, it was crazy because today you came very very early. Mm -hmm. right. That's traditional. You wanted that to come out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know who I, I'm, I'm, I'm the early nigga. I'm the early nigga. And Pone is always the late nigga. And I just saw it in your face. She yeah. was like, these <laughs> niggas. <laughs> but the drink champs on the early <laughs> I'm not sure uh, if you're the early guy. I am the early guy. Drink no, listen, I want to ask. You make fun of me coming mad. I want to ask the staff. Has he been the late guy lately? Yeah, you're the early guy. I'm the early guy. He's the early guy. He lives right here. I'm the early guy. You gotta put that into it. I got a lot. I think I think I'm the early guy too. You live across the bridge. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm the early guy. Hey, yeah, you just ask. You ask. It you gotta be a new man, dog. I think Holy. But I gotta lie though. When it comes to club, yeah. When it comes to clubs, EFN is the earliest. He's, he's, I like to be there with no one. Nine o'clock. No one's there. No People are still sweeping. I want to get my wall and my back behind. What, what are you doing? He'll go to the club when no one is there. <laughs> like they're still opening up. The People are still wiping down the tables and shit. And he got his his bottle of uh, 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 rum in it. <laughs> Make some noise to EFN. <laughs> My, my frugal partner. <laughs> Man, so what, 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 is, what is the best, what is the best that hip hop has done for you? Man. You know, it, it afforded us a chance to travel all around the world. Right. Learn a lot, you know? I mean, uh, and I, I'm sure you can attest to it. I mean, right. we all feel where we're from is our world, is our globe. And when you're able to travel, you can see the differences. And then you can also see what is so similar. Right with you and someone from Sweden or someone from Cali, you know. Right. Support my family. Yeah, right. without question. Yeah. You know. Right. Doing something you love too. Doing something right. I love. Right. Yeah. Know. And that's the biggest thing. Damn near became well. a paralegal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> from, from, from finding out all of you. Oh, wow. Yeah, wow, that's yeah, man. No. <laughs> Wait, I got something from Moni Lowe. Hold on. Okay. Oh, she oh, sent okay. me a question oh. for y'all. Yeah. Or actually a story she wants to hear. Moni. Don't let yeah. it be about. She said oh. a fight. Oh no! Here, oh. Damn, she sent me another one too. Oh God! Let's go. She said. He spelled the T. Big fight at Queen Latifah's B Day party. It was gonna be that. Back <laughs> in the day, MK's in Manhattan. 
Oh, gosh. You got a story for that one? <laughs> Murder Kingdom. Oh, oh, man. I mean, it was... She uh, said Maceo Rock and Knots of Two. <laughs> yeah. Dave Two. <laughs> 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 yeah, that was all. That was when Chris and them. Got yeah, was, they uh, slashed Chris' face. It, it, was, oh. it was a. It was a night Chris Letty got cut in his face. Oh God, <clears> I never yeah, knew this so, story. Yeah, so, yeah, so okay. it was um, pandemonium that night. That's all. Huh. You know, you step up for your family and handle shit. Mm. Yeah, mm. pretty much. Yeah. We was all there. Us. I don't yeah. know. Tip was there. I know Jungle was. Jungle La was, was, of course, there. Violators was there. Yeah. yeah. All of our people from Amityville. It just got ridiculous. Yeah. It got crazy. It got but they, crazy. You know, they but, but Chris they cut got cut in his face, so, so it was, yeah. was kind of one. And out of all of that, out of all that was going on, somebody tried to steal a register, cash register. Remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out of all that, man. <laughs> out of the club? Out of yeah, the club, out the club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have yeah, never yeah, heard of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, was, what, what was wild about that night, personally, to me, is that this is pre-internet. And when that happened, like people in UK heard about it because I guess at that point it was just getting on the phone and calling somebody about right. yo like this happened or sending the fax. Yeah. Facts. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Facts. I still got a fax machine. I ain't gonna lie. I'm old school, right? It's old school. Yeah. I still got. One. Wait, wait, wait. You got it with the we got it with the paper roll or just the individual? No, nah, the paper roll's the old school. That's the, the old. Then has paper. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I got the individual. Uh, the oh, they got yeah, the yeah, ditto. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> my, my, my shit is analog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm upgrade my life. Yeah, I think that Yo, y'all mentioned Jungle Brothers. We got to talk about Native the tongue. creation of Native Tongue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I mean, Native <clears throat> Tongue, um, we had this gig in Boston, and uh, Jungle was on, on the bill as well. And that's it was when we, us, Jungle, and Finesse. And that's who, who was Native Tongue? As Originally. No, yeah. To begin with, it was us, Tribe, and Jungle. Yeah. And the idea came from, from Jungle mm -hmm. Brothers? From Africa. Okay. Yeah, from yeah. Africa. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, yeah. yeah, we met at a, we met at a gig. Exchange numbers, wind up hanging out. And when you say Africa, we say Africa Bambada. Africa no, 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 no. Baby Bambada. Baby Bambada. Oh, jungle, oh, jungle, jungle Brothers. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Africa of JBs. Um, we did a show with Jungle Brothers in mm. Boston, met them. And then from there, we just it created a, a relationship. Yeah. Um, they had a then, gig. Oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. And then uh, eventually we was in the studio. Mm. And, and we invited them to the studio. For us, it was like studio was just like inviting friends. And if you happen to be there, you're going to be a part of what's going on. Because yeah. back then we had rails. Mm. You couldn't email, correct? Right. So you oh, yeah. had to be in the studio. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. No rails. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 no doubt. Well, yeah. I, said, I said it wrong. I said rails. I heard you say no. rails. Okay, my bad. Yeah, you know what I mean. I'm like, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't know what you were talking about. Yeah. <laughs> Niggas just went around a little soft. A little soft. She's like eight pounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> you had to go to the nigga session. Like, not, so you, remember, I, yo, I remember I had to go to see Buster Rhymes, so I had to bring the real there. That was like the worst day of my life. I had to, I had to literally carry this shit. shit. You right. young niggas don't feel they my don't pain. That, yeah. 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 You had we had to work out. To do you can punch it in. You niggas can punch it. You yeah. damn niggas yeah. disgust me. Remember, remember yeah. before you before you could even record, you had to strike the tape. Yeah, yeah. 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 So you had to run the whole tape all the way Straight through. Couldn't even record. Them, put on MIDI on the tape. Yeah. Them niggas preset was our final mixes, man. Yo, yo. You know what I mean? They yeah. preset yo. right now was our final mix. That's it. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. These guys got it so easy, man. Yeah. Oh my God, yeah. your word, they could punch in. I didn't know what a punch in was until 2005. <laughs> Yo! I might, yeah, I might be you. over here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. just saying, nigga, I ain't punch in. For, mm. I ain't punch in until 2000. For what? Because I'm talking about unique studios. I, most of my shit from those days was unique studios. At that time, unique was not digital at all. Mm. Uh, criteria out here was not digital at all. Mm -hmm. Hit factory, they yeah. So it was it was one take Charlie for me. Like yeah. that's how that I was the era. Play. I mean, yeah. if you come from that era, you kind of yeah. don't get away from that. We were, yeah. we were. That's why the, that's why yeah. our music. Now that this y'all niggas. The new niggas, the new niggas. I this y'all nigga. That's why our music sound much better than y'all. That's why y'all <laughs> shit. Not a you, know what you can listen to your album from 1989 and listen to somebody from right now. You can be like, look, look how, because because you these guys ain't even mixing right nah, now. They nah, just nah, they just nah. putting a little bit. All right, throw it out. Right, yeah, right. They don't yeah, give a fuck. Yeah, nah, the music's yeah. so disposable yeah. right now. Back then, the, the, the music lasted. That whole year, yeah, that's no why doubt. they called it a classic. Yeah, right. You didn't listen to an album for a yeah. week. You listen right. to an album that whole fucking year. Yeah, and sure, read all sure. the credits on that. I'll be dropping shit, yeah, right? Sure. I'm dropping bombs right now, right? You're dropping, you're dropping, you're dropping. <laughs> Holy shit, that's why yeah. the music was better back then. Mm -hmm. Am I lying? 
I don't know. I you talk to yourself because you you be yeah. changing your mind sometimes on <laughs> no, that. No, no, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Look, look at the quality of it. Yeah. The quality is. Look at how many classics came out. Like right now, there's probably one classic album that came out last year, probably, right? Yeah. I would say a J. Cole. Yeah. 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 I'll say that. Nip, see? Yeah. Nip. Yeah, I'll say that. Nip, it'll, probably be, it'll probably be less than 10 if we really get crazy. Mm. Like we wouldn't use all of our. But, but That's only two in the 90s. Friends. Like everybody that dropped was a class. I mean, there has to be something to <coughs> not, not compare the process. Era. The process was more difficult back then, where now it's like you can you can record an album on your phone. Right, yeah. right. You I craft, mean, it seems like crafted it, an album. Back so then. when it's, it's that right? difficult exactly. a process, you, know? you want to be careful yeah. and make sure whatever you put out is exactly what you wanted to put yeah. out. Right. So I would imagine it's, it's, it's more, better product. Than it's right. more of a feel. You know, right, I right. feel like now it's definitely more of a feel. You can make something on your laptop press a button is out right you know is i guess like how you saying right. it's like listening to music that it will be like extra p making a beat in its crib right. is how p the finished product for younger cats now right sound like extra p could get the beat the nas and now you're going to give it to the engineer to do what you got to do because because to you know be saying? fair to, to to young cats right now they might be throwing out what would have just been demo records. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So they're just like, fuck, I'm just going to throw it out, yeah, throw it out, right, throw it out, right. throw it out, and then one hit. It's, yeah, right. I'm in. Right. I'm in. Put it yeah. out. <laughs> they demos and is on YouTube. Right. You got to you gotta do that. You got to yeah. respectfully understand with the technology, you know, my, my kids, young cats, listen to everything in headphones and buds. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's not about bumping in Full your car. Full systems, right. You know what I'm right. saying? So we son yeah, sonically is different yeah. as well, yeah. Because you used to do mixes in all forms, on headphones, on the loudspeakers, exactly, go exactly. in the car, listen in the car, in how to sound. Yeah. Car, you made a mix for all of that. The main one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He was yeah. working with Preem the other day. He did the same thing. He's like, yo, yo, okay, I got, I got to go to, I got to go to the car. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he had to, he had to hear it in the yeah. car. Did you, have you ever been in the studio with Preem and he make a crazy beat and then erase it? That's terrible. No, that's Q-tip. Well, that's definitely him. Yo, let me tell you something. That shit hurt my feelings one day. <laughs> I'm sitting there, I'm hitting him with Preem, and Preem is like, Bro, and he is, I'm like, that is it. And he goes, ah, that shit ain't right. <laughs> oh, I wrote the whole rap, <laughs> Preem, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, And you two telling me, that's you? Yeah, that's me. You, you, yeah, yeah, <laughs> you, yeah, you, you don't like it, yeah. You, and yeah. I, 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 so you were like, I, 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 I know you the perfectionist, nigga. Uh -huh. now. now I know who you are. Uh, Definitely. So, now, it, it, you this know. is the bonsai plant motherfucker right here. Oh, it shit. gotta be right. And I love it about him, like, cause I'm the one who, and he, we like work so well together, like. The yin and yang. I'm the one who like, yo, I like what I did, cause I just felt something. But David be like, yo, Merce, but I'm telling you, you can say it better, you can do it better. Like Dave has always been that, that person. Well, potential, right? Yeah. Right. Right. You gotta see the potential in everything. Yeah. You right. know? And right. push that as far as you can. So that's just my philosophy. Yeah. God yeah, damn, let's salute to that. All right. Hey. Yeah. 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 Y'all were one of the first to work with Jay Dilla, correct? Um, no. One of the first, um, huh? Yeah, well, around that time. Around that time. Well, yeah, yeah. Really far side. Really? No, 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 no. 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 Far side, far side got before us. Did he, really? he, just, yeah. did, he did on the album or a remix for, for Far Side? Uh, he did an album. Uh, he did it was uh, Drop. Drop and uh, drop? Running. And yeah, yeah, running. Drop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. J, yeah. J, J, J uh, Dilla did Drop. And drop, uh, Running. <coughs> and he did uh, a remix. Lavin Cabin was said. before Stakes yeah. is High? Yeah. I think wow. so. Yeah. I think so. Yeah, I, yeah, I, think, uh, I think Dilla got in with. with uh, with um, really? Far Side before mm -hmm. us, Tribe obviously. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. Buster <clears throat> and Buster, <clears throat> yeah. probably. Yeah, yeah, and Buster. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the genius. Right Dilla Dil 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 was just yeah. undeniable, man. Yeah. And y'all yeah, yeah, got an album coming out on Mass Appeal, or you have? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, yeah. yeah, it's yeah we're working on it now. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Premium, coming, premium Soul on the Rocks. Yeah. P Rock and Premier. And and, and AOI that's incredible, three. man. Okay. Yeah. And who? Artificial Intelligence Part Three. Yeah. Cause we on Tommy Boy, damn I said the name. We was uh, but it's we, okay, we done. We, we, we did AOI. We handled this okay. Right. We did I'm AOI. proud of us. I'm no, proud seriously. of us. Okay, Cause we could have said some shit. Yeah. I could have got another Tiger Bowl shot out of us, <laughs> and we could have just we don't give us any no ideas. We could have done some crazy shit, but uh, but we 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 gentlemen, cause yeah, we no all doubt. feel the same way. I'm, I'm sorry, continue what you no, were saying. No, I was just trying to say we were when we was still on Tommy Boy, and we wanted to do like a triple album. You know, we was like, yo, this could be really a dope thing to do, but then they... When you say triple album, what, I need to clarify. 
It would have been at the, t- like, at the time. Like, Wu like yeah. had came out with a double, <laughs> and we was like, "Well, let's top all of that and do a triple." Yeah. But so you know, like nine hundred songs. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> nah. but, you, but you know, you know, man, there's, there's just like how you say we're trying to be, we, we, we are gentlemen here. We, right. you know, we, we give it when, when a person deserves it. Right. Tom Solomon was like, that's crazy. He didn't like it. it he just came up with a better idea. Mm. Why? Why? Better do, for him, not better for y'all. Well, well you, maybe in hindsight, could be. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But and what was that idea? Why do three records? when you could just do three installments. Yeah, like why do oh, three records with one like budget right. where it could be, three you have a budget per, you know what I'm saying? That, that's, per record. And that's oh, financially like, that makes like probably Garfall, like yeah. budget-wise. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So that's where the AOI yeah. series yeah. came in. AOI as was well as that much music, yeah. man, something gets lost in there. You mm-hmm. yeah. you feel like you're wasting <laughs> right. songs, all that. So mm-hmm. it was a good idea. Yeah. Right. And we did AOI 1, we did AOI 2. Yeah. And we still got to do AOI 3. So that's something that we got to work on. coming around to it, Tommy Roy folded, you know what I'm saying? Wow. Yeah. And then that's when everyone went into the to the Wea Matrix and then labels was trying to pick who they want. Electra wanted us. Mm-hmm. So we we actually met with Electra. Well, oh, yeah, Sylvia cause, Rome. Because we are. Warner yeah, Brothers, exactly. Electra, we, Atlantic, When Tommy Boy right? folded, we all got absorbed. Yeah, 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 it was yeah. the conglomerate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm in the same exact. Yeah, man. I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. I'm looking at y'all like, yeah. I was there, too. Like, yeah. I was in the back, though. I was in the back, yeah. back. Yeah. Y'all was in the front. Y'all yeah. technically yeah. label mates. Yeah, yeah. like, yeah, not for real. real. Yeah. Yeah. It is. Technically, it is. I was the promoter for Tommy. I worked all y'all motherfuckers' records. Yeah, man. Oh, man. But continue with your saying. Sylvia really wanted us on a lecture. Sylvia Rome. Yep. Yeah. Big up Sylvia Rome. She's no, on no epic. Doubt. She's at epic now. No no doubt. Doubt. Absolute. We need we, more black CEOs, right? Okay, yeah. continue. Let me go to Yeah, we, black we CEOs. you know, we we met with her. Looked like it could be a good thing. You know, we were we were kinda like, yo, like this could be cool, but uh she wanted us to do the entire album with Timbaland. And it was like, all right, you know, we don't necessarily know Tim like that. We would like to know if he would be interested. But then we kind of had our organic way of doing things. Like we didn't. That would have been ill, though. You know too. what I'm saying? I could have seen that though too. So it, you know, it just didn't work out. She wanted certain things creatively. We weren't, and you know, I could see Pharrell more. Well, look. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah I could definitely see. I didn't see terms. Look, yeah. just like, oh, just I like I, as Dave just I, said, I, I give any creative opportunity, you know, a right. shot. But I really didn't see that. I, she, I don't. I don't see. Way she it. Was I see pushing. Tim. I see Tim, but I see Pharrell more. Yeah, I see Pharrell would have. He would have put, he would have, because I, 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 I heard Pharrell, you know, play y'all music. I mm. heard Pharrell try to be kind of jack y'all, y'all sound. Mm. So I personally tried yeah. to. <laughs> <laughs> so, but go ahead, go ahead. No, nah, I'm just saying, like, uh, just like as y'all were saying and Dave was saying earlier, um, you know, you get props where props do. I mean, like, Tommy Boy always allowed us to just have free reign over our creativity. So immediately seeing Sylvia trying to control it, Kind of made us be like, I don't know if we could. It would be. It would work here. Well, mm. well, did you, you feel like you were cro- controlling it, or was it a suggestion? That nah, because you know, you figured. I I knew Sylvia, you know, from Renee McLean being there. That was like my brother-in-law. You know, I will always. Renee McLean from Mix Your Power. Something? There you Make go. Sure yeah. I would step up there a lot. So, you know, she was just very like adamant on like, yo, and I see this vision for y'all, and Tim should do the whole album, da da da. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, our manager at the time, Corey Smith, you know, we was listening. Big up Corey Smith. Best yeah, you know, um, it just didn't seem like it would work out the way we would want it to be. So she was cool with us saying, like, you know, we don't need to be there. You know, we felt like that wouldn't be where we want to be. And um, Atlantic wanted to try to pull us in. And even the gentleman who was overseeing everything, he was the head of WIA, like Warner Brothers. He was like a big De La fan. He's like, yo, why don't you just be on Warner Brothers? But we was like, look. There's a perfect opportunity. Yeah. To be independent. To be oh. independent. Wow. Yeah. So we, we kind of asked for it. Right. And, you know, it, it, it was the best thing that ever happened in our career. Yeah. I mean, that's it's like the biggest problem. blessing, man, just to be. To just be independent? To, yeah. To okay. be yeah. Independent. Did you, was there a learning curve that you, when you were independent, that you had to figure things out that you didn't know? No, nah, not really. Or you really. just already kind of knew yeah. hitting the ground? I mean, yeah, yeah, I mean, we kind of like knew. it made sense. It was common sense. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. pretty much. And the responsibility just ultimately <clears throat> was on us. Everything right. across yeah. the board. And and, I'm, yeah. and not to cut you, I'm I'm still going back to that. We we spent so many years having control of how we do things creatively, 
but and could see at like say a, with us being on Rush, Rush and Def Jam, of course, was so blended. We would see how Russell would talk to their artists like, "Yo, L, you gotta do this. Yo, get on a train. Go get up with Boys the Men. Go." You know what I'm wow. saying? Yo, you know, Meth, you gotta do this. Like we just we couldn't go to a label and have a label telling Daylight what to do. We had to be able to do what we need to do. So we need to be on our own. We needed to be independent to, to stay in control of what we wanted to do, you know? Yeah. And you, you honestly like being independent more than a major? Well, well I mean... Uh, we were never a major. Though. I think when you... I think some would say that. Tommy Boy? Yeah. No, Tommy, Tommy some would say that. Would say that. that. Yeah, some I would say, say that. that. Yeah, they they got to that, that point, yeah. I mean, yeah. That what? So the, whether they're major or not? I think they were pretty... They were in major levels, yeah. Yeah, they were in major levels. Well, yeah, I mean, major distribution, I actually was on penalty records. Right. Well, of course, yeah. And, and, and that was Which Tommy Boy's subsidiary. Boy. Yeah, exactly. That was their little homie. Right. Yeah, right. no doubt. Right. So, um, so, yeah, so, so essentially that means that Tom Silverman was the, uh, I mean, uh, Tommy Boy was, was the, the, the distributor. Right. Exactly. Yeah, distributor. Right. exactly. Right. So, that, so that, that in itself would made him. Uh, I mean, of course, yeah. the comfort of a label is like, you almost feel like you got staff, you yeah. know, already there. People know their job. They know right. the business. They know how to get around. So the comfort of having a, a, a company, a corporation, a team, you know. So with Master Pearl, you guys are partners. Yeah, yeah. 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 Master Pearl is dope. I, yeah. I'm doing a project with them. Yeah, that's a dope. That's yeah, dope. That's, dope. Yeah, um, they doing good things there. Man. Yeah, they really. They fought, they fought it's hip-hop. probably the best yeah. of both worlds in a yeah. sense. Yeah, yeah. 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 The yeah. last album we put out, Anonymous Nobody, and the Anonymous Nobody. You know, Master Pearl wanted to be involved. Um, this is the, the, the crowdfunded one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you know, because yeah. we this wanted one. to <laughs> have someone to kind of like... Again, <laughs> yeah, we wanted to have someone... Dist- I just uh, think, let me ask you, sorry. To, yeah, no, no, no problem. Did y'all break, I felt like y'all broke records in terms of artists raising money. Did you? Or yeah, at least for, in hip-hop. For, for, for hip-hop? hip-hop? Okay, let's let's for, get into that. Let's get into Because that. that to me was, I mean, I saw what was going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. You know, I was getting all the, the emails. One side gave, well, I was well, getting well, all the well, emails. Well, you, you raised money for the budget of the album? For the album. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And they raised an incredible amount of money. Yeah. yeah. yeah Put just, like, yeah, just <coughs> over 600 grand. Um, oh, over the course of 30 days. Wow. So yeah. I, I, damn, I, make some noise for that. I damn. Seriously, make, make noise for the fans, man. It right. was, you know, it was those folks that came it was out. Dope, man. Let's make some noise I, for the fans. I, I, I Come on, y'all loud as fuck up, man. I mean, uh, it's it's it's, you know, it's a flattering thing. Eleven thousand people wow. raised six hundred thousand wow. dollars. What, 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 what was the budget? Or what was how much did you put that you were trying to raise? We were trying to get one fifteen. Yeah, one hundred fifteen thousand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And yeah. You obviously exceeded. We and exceeded mine, that in three hours. And three hours. Yeah. Now, three mind hours, you, exceeded in like three hours. Three over. hours. Yeah, oh, mind you. Uh, shit. You know, damn, my fans ain't and the, shit. And I feel like the industry nah. got behind y'all. Fuck like, y'all, my fans. Be, I don't think they. I don't think niggas give me two dollars. I mean, let's try it. Nah, nah, nah. 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 The, yeah. the, yeah. the number, yeah. the number, yeah. the number was kind of <clears throat> contingent on what we were looking at around the industry at that time when we were considering a deal mm. and what was coming. The hundred fifteen. It yeah. was ranging from a hundred to a hundred and fifty. So like we, an indie budget. We came yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. The road of what we thought was okay. What was but achievable? Your fans had more in store for you. They wanted more. It's a, it's a difficult thing too. Excuse me, mates. To be asking for money. Right. right. Oh, it is. I did a Kickstarter, right. Right. and I, I understand it. Almost it. a human, you know, feeling. It's like it's am no, I it doesn't begging? feel good. It doesn't feel right. good. Am I begging here? Am I gonna look like I ain't got it? And then we live in a time of the internet where I'm right. sure there's some people who who's gonna say that. Instagram yeah. Right. Yeah. So it was kind of weird. So we didn't want to seem like we was greedy. Right. We didn't want to seem like we couldn't afford it. Right. Because those weren't the, that wasn't it. The idea was to almost raise the awareness that. We could do this ourselves. Yeah. And it's pre-sales, really yeah. what you're doing. You're doing pre-sales. Doing it. There you go. So do you know? who donated, did they get the, the album or yeah, something? Yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, pre-sales. Yeah, yeah. You wasn't asking it, for money, it, you were pre-selling. It was yeah. hard work, man. Yeah. Like, it was a lot of work. You know, we offered a lot of things. You know, if you if you give up five grand, you'll go toy shopping with Dave. If you give up yeah. five grand, you'll go. That happened? Oh, yeah, man, yeah, yeah, we more money, man. Can I go back? So it was that type of thing. I got the signed vinyl. Recognize what you get. You got Right. Uh, right. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, and, and also with, I'm sorry, Dave. Within context of it all, immediately working on the album, we were working on the album, and we all knew labels that were actually interested. 
immediately off the top, you know, from the band we work with to ourselves. We had people definitely wanting to hear it w w without hearing anything, very interested in doing any anything with Dayla. But as creative we were uh, allowing ourselves to give with the album is what made us once again think that from a creative standpoint, could we put this on the album? Could we put a song with, you know, I don't know, us and David Byrne and he's singing and then we rhyme, like could we really do that? Right. And that's what made us think like, well, why don't we raise the money to just keep it, be able to keep it totally creative, you know right. what I'm saying? Right. And I have a label think like, well, yo, we're like you gotta, you got to put Kodak Black on this one record. Like, right. And yeah. I love Kodak Black. All those, all those, right, right, all right. those restrictions that yeah. would come yeah. with being on a label with a short budget. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, right. like, and here it is. It was already 12 years. We hadn't made a record. Yeah. So, you know, looking at just the business side of it, that wasn't a good thing for us, knowing we could have did it this way. And well, we well thank you well, well, that you guys did it because mm -hmm. I think... Yeah, we needed yeah. that from you guys. Thank, thank you. Know thank you. Yeah. We needed the opportunity for, to, to right, invest in something as well. Yeah, as no fans. doubt. Thank you. No doubt. Thank you. Why, 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 why you ain't passing news? Why you ain't uh, um, um, trying to be like the head of Sony? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> or, you know what I'm saying? Like, is, is that is that our next, you know, thing? You know what I'm saying? Because, like, is it we need our people from within working yeah. in these yeah. systems? You, mm -hmm. you think that's the, the, the thing? You know what I'm saying? Maybe like, not for us. But I'll speak for myself personally. Like, 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 I can see you like at Spotify, like you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, uh, mm -hmm. like something like that. Is, yeah. is that something you're interested in? Not me okay. per personally. Okay. And I think that I I got those type of people in my band, mm -hmm. but not me personally. Okay. It's um, I'm a creative. Mm -hmm. That's that's who I am. Okay. I got ideas. You know, now can I see myself in a position where I'm, you know. Creatively, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, pushing this corporation, like this consulting? company, right? Right. consulting, right? right absolutely. Right. But you know, I think the the executive end of things is something that we would probably speak about and try right. to inspire young people to a, aspire right. to. Right. Mm -hmm. But for us, for me personally, I love music, man. Yeah, I right. just want to, I just right. want to rhyme and right. make beats. Yeah. You know what I mean, yeah. that's right. that's 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 where it is that's for me. Pure art, nah, You know, yeah. I definitely love music, as as Dave is saying, um, mm -hmm. but. Yeah, I would, I could do it. Yeah. I feel like, you know, I've had brothers try to push me to that, to that, that place. See, I want to work at Apple. I That's just right. smoke too much. Right. I'm going to get fired. What do you mean? It's about to be, so no, we're going to get fired. <laughs> <laughs> we're about to be head of podcasting at in, uh, Apple Music. Let's do it. I'm Goddamn, man, man, Jackson, man. what's up, nigga? I'm in it for years. Actually, for years on an independent level, I've been doing it. Yeah, Mason's wow. been doing it. I've, I've, he has indie I've, labels. I've, He's been I doing a, a lot. I got a label called Bad Mouth. Yeah. He's from Long Island. Uh, from I have put out DV Elias Christ at one time. Yep, shout uh, out to DV Elias Christ. You know, I Christ. currently got an artist by the name of Bill Ray. Mm. You know? God damn it. So I have been foreseeing this internet thing well when we was coming up. Mm. Yeah, you know? that's true. Mm. Even from the likes of when Prince was seeing it. Wow. Even from when Did I just saw, on us? Did just even on us? even when I saw, Did he just say Prince. Yeah, Prince. You got a Prince story? You no, know, just know it. Just know it. Tell me you hung out with well, Prince. Well, nah, well, I, I heard I, he be floating around. Nah, I didn't get. He just saying that Prince was solid. But for what he felt, like, you know, like, oh, 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 Talib oh, gave us a oh, great Prince story. Prince story. Talib was or wasn't my. I need to hear it. I need to hear it. You hold on, hold on. I'm sorry. I'm a. No, I need to hear it. Prince story is legendary on Jim Jones. I need to hear it. You need another shot. For some reason, I feel like that other shot will bring the Prince on. Give him some more ice and some some rock, please. Yeah, please. Yeah, we're Mr. Lee. Mr. Lee. I got Prince story. Mr. Lee, drop in the ball. Give him some ice, please. Please, please. Because right. I, I need you to feel I'm here, I'm here, I'm okay. here. I'll, I'll, I'll put another one in there. Okay, oh, you want, tiger you want a tiger? I don't care. Okay, oh, you want a tiger? Okay. I'm not even in, but I'm, I'm going to do it. Yeah, I'll take a tiger. Okay, all right, let's take a tiger. Woo! I'm saying because I'm here. Like the like, drink chat. I'm here. By the way, he's there, he's just ready so to you know, I've never met Prince. And I've never met Tupac. Really? I have never met Tupac. Whoa. Whoa. We, I uh, did kind of meet him. He came to our show. Well, yeah, he, he would come to our shows at uh, first, first half. half. Yeah, yeah I, got a, I got a Prince story. Yeah, yeah. 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 he's fucking with us. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely yeah. got a Prince story. Prince story is legendary in Prince It's like I'm stretching right now. Yeah, we have some great Prince stories. It's like I'm stretching. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
trying to rack him up. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm, that, I'm, I'm a big Prince fan. Just no doubt. No, 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 I'm a big Prince fan. Yeah, yeah nah, man. I do a you know, in my mind, my DJ in my mind, it. like I saw Prince Purple Mike Rain, Rain like when it came out, but I did. Wait, where's the second? Hold on, I'm about to get it. Hold on, I'm about to get it. Wait, wait, wait. What? Okay, you ready? Everyone got one? No, no, no. the news. No, no, no. That's me. That's me. Okay. So, Pasha, this is Prince Story. We, okay. we want to hear you that. You want some more champagne, though? Yes, yeah. please. Take some more champagne. I appreciate you, bro. Yeah. Okay, Salo. All right, there it is. Salo. 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 The day last song, motherfucker. Woo! Terrible, man. I would never say Tiger Bone's good. Never. That shit is crazy. And you know what's crazy about when I drink Tiger Bone? I feel like I could breathe fire right now. I wake up in the morning <laughs> and my body says, you're an idiot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The first thing it says to me. Your body? Yeah. My breast says that right now. <laughs> well, my, it's like my brain. My brain texts yeah, my heart and says, uh, you're an asshole. Because yeah. that shit is horrible. Yeah, okay. man, you got it. Yeah, go back. We are ready. All right, let's hear this. Well, Friends. we were working on, uh, I want to say the AOI <clears throat> Mosaic Thump album. And, um, <sighs> At one point, this better be good, pasta news. Yo, I mean, it's a print story. I'm yes, saying. Yes, yes. Basically, at one point, uh, Amir Questlove, basically, <laughs> we was trying to work with him, see what he could contribute. So I went out to fill the it roots. Up. Yeah. So Quest would always work out of, out of uh, Electric Lady. Electric Lady with the white cat. Hold on. Yeah. Listen, I know Electric Lady. That oh, is Jimi Hendrix. Yeah, that that's is Jimi Hendrix. There studio. you go. And that cat <coughs> was Jimi Hendrix. We had called it. In this studio, Electric Lady, everybody, this cat is the weirdest cat in the Y'all world. You don't believe that? I, I, nah. You listen, I know it's weird. I know the cat you talking about. You know what I'm about. talking about? It's I know the, the cat. What is the cat? The cat just come up. He just come and look at you, and you. it's Jimi Hendrix. You know it. <laughs> it's like, yo, you step your balls up. You get your shit together. I'm sorry. I had it. Electric Lady was a vibe. That's weird. Yeah, it's a weird vibe in there. It's a weird vibe in there. It is. Yeah, it is. That's where Pun, God bless the dead, um, laid band from TV. I'm sorry. Mm. I'm sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a, that's yeah. a nice that, one. That was that right story. There. That was Woo. that story. But go ahead, go ahead. So, yeah. But you um, know the cat I'm talking about? You know I'm I know the cat. That cat I'm, I'm, is I'm weird. serious. It's weird. It's a weird <laughs> cat. You can still hear it. It's a weird white cat. The cat like 900. <laughs> <laughs> And the train passes by, and the I'm cat, sorry, yeah. so right. the, and Prince shows up. Right, Electric Lady. Oh. Well, basically, Electric Lady. I'm there with Amir. We trying these different ideas to try to you present. You gotta say Quest Love. Our fans don't Quest know Love. Name. Okay. The Roots. Yeah. yeah you flossing right now. You call niggas by their real name. <laughs> <laughs> that was a big. That was a huge floss. Yeah. Yeah. Well, where you going? At one point, we had we had a drum sample in this song we had for the Mosaic Thump album called View. And we wanted to see if Amir could play over it. Mm. Quest love. And, yeah, Quest love. <laughs> I know I'm missing it. Quest love. He could play over it. So when we get to, to the session, we, the session is set in stone. But when I get there, like, Quest is telling me, like, yo, I'm sorry. I'm like, sorry about what? Like, yo, the session is still going, but, you know, the, the God is here. I'm like, oh, shit. what do you mean the God? He's like. Prince is here. At the time, Prince was in the studio and he was playing this new album for Warners. Now this is, I guess, after the whole slave thing. I think he was back on track with Warner Brothers and he had this new album that he had. It was just a sign. So he, he took control over all the studios in Electric Lady oh, so that the Warner Brother wow. people could be listening to all these different tracks. I'm a Prince fan. But as a man, I was fucking pissed. <laughs> oh, oh, hold on. Basically, you're saying Prince kicked you out of the studio. Yeah, I don't know. That's my fucking studio. Oh, I got bumped oh, out oh, by oh, Prince. Oh, oh, yeah. Dan Jackson kicked me out. I'll yeah, that so, <laughs> yeah, I got a hat. But, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, like, That's and like, Quest was with it. Like, everyone was with it. You know, the, the, the and I'm sorry, I forget her name. The young lady was running and managing Electric Lady, she was like, yo, I'm sorry, but you know, I'm like, what do you mean you sorry? This is my session. So that Prince did come down, and it was like, you know, he came to me like, you know, and the, uh, you know, da, 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 and I was pissed off. I thought he was about to say he thugged you out, though. No, he thugged me out. You went too fast, hold on. He said, he said, he's like, you said Prince said, he didn't go like this, he didn't go like this. No. He said, you slide the shit out of me. He said, Prince came up to you and said, what side, nigga? 
the two fingers like this. Oh. Yo, you ain't getting in the studio right I now, though. I need to know nah, this. Nah. Did he have on purple? Oh. The nigga did. Oh. Come on. No. I'm a, he can't wear purple all the time. I'm just saying. I'm a fan. Oh, I'm a, yo, I'm a fan. It was a purple tracksuit? Yo, nah. I'm, oh, I'm shit. I'm a fan. I ain't never heard this shit. Yo, I'm oh, a fan. Did he have a raspberry beret on? I'm a fan. <laughs> but I just felt like, yo, that's, that's fucked up that everyone fell in line with this dude. Yeah. Who, he kicked me out of my life. <laughs> nah, I remember this. I remember him selling. Oh, oh remember. shit. But he, he, he kind of came down and like po politely apologized, but... I'm a, such a fan, but I couldn't like be a fan. I had to be like, yo, I'm, I'm pissed off that you did this. You ain't oh, saying it like that. What did you really tell him? But in my face, I was like, yo, I'm a fan, but yo, you fucked up my session. You a petty nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I would have folded. I would have like, Prince, you can have my session, nigga. It's okay. You should have asked him to oh, play on the track or something. Yeah. And I was pissed at Quest. I was like, yo, the nigga just said like, yo, the God is here, like. Like if it was his studio, like I was like, all right. And is it true, like Prince, like four eleven too, right? Yeah, he's shorter than Fife. He was, wow. God bless the dead. He, oh, wow. Prince is a short. He was he a God short nigga. God bless the dead for Fife. Let's, yeah. let's, 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 let's take a moment silent for Prince and Fife right now. Word. One, two, three. Yo, while you out it, we lost somebody in Miami hip hop profile producer. Rest in peace all to him right. as well. Peace. Oh, no doubt. God bless, man. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. All right. All right. So. It's just, yeah, it's not, it's not. <clears throat> so what do you, what do you what do you guys want to leave the hip hop? If hip hop could remember you for one thing, each one of y'all individually. Three black men stuck together, do it all. Mm. Y'all niggas did stick together. Stick together. Mm. You know, y'all niggas been together for mad years. Y'all you know? mm. yeah. probably hate each other. Y'all really <laughs> 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 like, you know, you know, love each other, but y'all brothers. Y'all like y'all more brothers than y'all. We got partners. Y'all our moments <laughs> over the years. You know, I know. I've got partners. But we we we, we couldn't see it no other way. God right. did it this way. We yes. we gonna finish it this way. Mm. You yes. know, if anything, let's change the landscape. Let's right. really like. Yeah. Get our roses while we're alive real, instead of dead. Real, real, you know, real. and that's where this whole issue lies with, wow. you know, individual one, right. you know, yeah. and the label. Yeah. And, you know, just want to really just continue to do what we do, what we love to do. Absolutely. I love DJing and making music, man, Absolutely. creating and producing it. Mm. They love them seeing, you know, and, and as you see where the ideas go with business, it's because of what we've gone through. So, mm. of course, we could see ourselves in these executive positions on some form or another, yep. you know what I mean? Mm. Just to make it right for the future. Mm. <clears throat> and like Dave was saying, legislation, that's really more important. Mm. You know, changing the laws of how things have been structured. Yeah. You know? Because yeah. even with the streaming, it's still a little gray area there. Mm -hmm. If you look at it, it's a lot you of really gray area look there. at it, <laughs> yeah. it's still a gray area there, you mm. know what I mean? Mm. But it's, a, we, we making change right mm. here. Right now, and it's a mentality you know I mean? that you're trying to do your best to get rid of, you know, like in terms of the industry at, as a whole. You know, like funny enough, like it's like saying that everyone makes such a big deal about this red MAGA hat. It's like it's still like a massa hat, like a, a make artists slaves again. It's like you got to get rid of that whole mentality for the entire record company right. business. Damn. You know what I'm saying? You know, this hat, that hat running around too. Well, shit. <laughs> make artists. Without it being seen, it right. is. He's like, shit. You know. The intention he's saying is that. Yeah, that was like a is. nightmare. That shit, that shit went through my whole body when you said that. But, but, but same question to you. If um, the last thing, if you could give hip hop, what, what would you? Yo, want? just honestly for me, just we were creative dudes who had fun and um, just try to have, just try to be blessed at giving the best we could within this industry and this music. For me personally, you know. Mm. Yeah. I kind of got to echo what May said. I mean, I hope hopefully we could be the model of trying our best to make it work. It isn't always pretty. It doesn't always feel good. But at the end of the day, you know, I mean, in some cases, not all cases, if you work hard enough and you appreciate the magic that you make with the people in your circle, it's kind of hard to go find it elsewhere. You know, you want to keep that magic going. And mm. I think that's what hip hop for me is. I know it is when you get that moment where you hear that beat, it's like, oh, you know, or you, 
you write that verse, it's about the magic in it, right? It's like how it feels. It's damn near a high. Yeah, it is, yeah, it's a high. It is a high. Yeah, it is a high. Yeah. And I think even if, whether it's, 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 we're talking about hip hop as a body. So <clears throat> what you guys are doing here, it feels good. It's a magic. Yeah. Right. And I think when you, can, when you can show that we could come together, right. sometimes worlds apart, yeah. and keep something going and build from it and make it better and it create new things, that's important, man. That's that's what I would want to, you know, want to embody, you know, as you know what the De La do, right. like just the idea of staying together through thick and thin and making things work, right. and giving that example to others to let them know that it's possible for them as well. Right. You, know? you, you, you y'all consider y'all uh, uh, it's three man group, mm -hmm. right? You got Migos, mm -hmm. you got the Locks. Mm -hmm. What do you think y'all rank yourselves in? <laughs> as much as, I mean, oh. all three men. Groups. Right. Mm -hmm. what, do you, what, do you, what do you think? I mean, I, I can't say rank and number, but I always say the future will tell, right? <laughs> so I think right now we'll probably be that group, that three group, three man group that stayed together. That, that's that's the only thing I want to believe that we can <clears throat> ride on, and I'm not gonna say the Migos gonna break up or whomever gonna break. Right, but right. you know, staying together will probably hold that record. Mm. I think we're gonna hold that record. Because uh, it's more it's, it's more than business. Yeah, it's yeah. more than yeah. business, right. and, and there's more to come. Musically, it's safe to say that you guys haven't had a fair shot because your music hasn't been the catalog hasn't, it hasn't fully been, been, been introduced. Yeah, exactly. so imagine yeah, if yeah. it was. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you know, it's it's uh, it's it's. It's easy to say you're the best and you're number one. Right. But when you sit down and look at the facts. And say how long. Right. You know a what I'm saying? Of, of work when you look body, at the body yeah. of work and yeah. how long you've been there and right. what you have done, that's that's what really kind of claims that Absolutely. we are the best of that category. So mm -hmm. right now, 30 years, talk to me when you hit like 15. You know what I mean? Talk to me when you hit like 20. Talk to me when you hit 25. That's real yeah. shit. Yeah. That's real that shit. Was, that was all Gotti right there. That That's was real all shit. So, just, 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 just to re, you know reiterate something, um, so the fans understand, because we don't want to seem like we're people who just complain. I want to, I want to be clear mm. of what they lost so is saying that they they that can rectify the situation so the fans are clear. Now mm. we, sp we spoke to the label, we spoke mm. to everybody, but we, we want to speak direct to the fans. This is what, who, who need this body to work. Mm. They need to wake up in the morning, go jogging and stream, you know what I'm saying, these albums. So what 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 is they not so actually asking for to rectify the situation. What can the fans with, do? With the, what y'all call the um, uh, you know, uh, individual, individual one? one? Yeah. Well, and, I, I, um, I, I would sincerely ask in support of the fans and the culture, yo, don't press play. If it actually comes up, it right. comes up online, you know, don't right. press play until we give it a go. Right. Until mm. we actually say, yo, we happy, thumbs up, guys, right. let's rock. Mm. We made up, <clears throat> we kiss, we made up. You right. know what I'm saying? Until we say we kiss and made up, do not press play. If anything, you can get grind date. You can uh you can okay. definitely get uh anonymous, uh, anonymous nobody. nobody. Yeah. Yeah. You can get yeah. those two things, you know. Mm -hmm. And you know, whatever else we put out with the Pete Primo record, we right. look out for that one and also look out for AOY three. Y'all can get all that. Right. But all the other stuff from Bionics on down to three feet high and rising, right. don't press play. Wow. There, there's nothing else I can do because let's be honest. Fans are gonna wanna press play. Yeah. Well, hey, man, so you just, know, at the end of the day, it. it's your choice. You know right. what I'm saying? But I'm saying, they're gonna press you know, play because they love you guys so much. What, 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 what else could they do yeah. outside look, of that? Look, <laughs> the story is the story. Right. The truth is the truth. One right. thing I know, people do feel conflicted. We right. felt conflicted. I right. want them to have it. Yeah. I really do. Yeah. Right. But shit ain't right. Period. So let's get it right. And if you wanna support, don't press play. Wow. So then wow. we got to make a catchphrase and put that out there. Wow. Yeah. yeah. That's real shit. Uh, man. 
Yeah, I concur. Because it's like it's like <laughs> it's like that Colin Kaepernick feeling. Yeah, like, yeah, you know, yeah. like people want to support Cap, but people still want to watch it. Right, yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Because you fan of players out there, you know people out there that's right. playing. You know, you 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 you're connected to the game your whole life. It's America's thing, mm -hmm. just like hip hop. It's America's thing. It's the world's thing. It's an international thing. Yeah, and we ain't really still playing it fair. So. I'm, I'm glad we got to, 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 say, to say, <clears throat> this, say this story the way it is because, um, and I'm personally a witness that you guys are not out here. You know, you know how they feel like, you know, the older you get, you, the people out here complain yeah, and yeah, yeah, like that. Nah. I personally know that everything yeah. you guys are saying is the truth because yeah, 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 yeah. I'm in that boat yeah. with y'all. Like no I doubt. said, like y'all yeah. in the front, I'm in the, I'm in the back of the yeah. trip, but yeah. I, no, nonetheless, yeah. we in the same bus. No doubt. It's this shit is going down. We all going down. No doubt. No no doubt. doubt. I'm not happy you going through that, but it's good to know because it, str oh, it, str yeah. it strengthens everything. Oh, yeah. It's the yeah. same as that shit. It's the same as that shit. The whole shit. So. And that, that's one of the things, unfortunately. It's like, you know, uh, no, what yeah. we the want powers to, the powers yeah. want to silence us, Dela, mm. specifically. What you said, I'm sorry. The the power. Uh -huh. I'm gonna call it the power, individual one and whomever. Right. They want to silence us. They cannot. Because they know brothers like you exist. Mm -hmm. and, and naughty by too, nature. Mm -hmm. Let's and go. Queen Latifah. Mm -hmm. Let's go. We got and more all those folks, mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And, and it's like it's all, and, and, and it's even like a domino that and will even come outside back outside of, of even outside <clears throat> of that entity. And let me also give give the props to to, to Puff Daddy and the Revolt staff. Mm. This is very important. It is. Mm. Yeah. Listen, let me just tell you something. Every uh People we interview right now, that shit ain't coming out till June. Mm -hmm. They pushing this up. Mm. They don't do that. They putting the clip right. because this is how right. important this is. No, it's an, it's an important know, and topic. Let, and I'm gonna just tell you something. Salute, there, Salute, there, there be people like we be trying like, and they'll they they'll front. They these people. We said they lie. They said let's go right. and push. It was their idea I, to push it up. Hey man, so listen, big up listen. to the, uh, 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 the revolt staff. No you doubt. know that's holding yeah, us no down, doubt, no doubt. and Salute. they All understand good. how right important y'all message is that. We, you know, because sometimes we hold episodes like, you know, um, exhibit episode. We, we damn near did that shit yeah. last year. Right, it's coming right, out this right, week. Right, you right, know right, what I'm right, saying? Because right. it's not a timely thing. We're this show, this show is, so yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, but this issue was so important that all of the staff got together. Like, yeah. everybody, big up to uh, uh, Erica, Rich, everybody, yeah, 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 everybody, all my people. Word up. Um, uh, big up to the uh, what's, 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 what's Michelle, Michelle uh, mm. Robin, um, uh, Sharice. Big up mm. to all of them. Like this issue was so important for hip hop to stand behind mm, y'all yeah. and say, you know what, y'all not alone. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Like back then, whatever it was, we need to stand together and we need ownership of these properties that yeah. we made. Absolutely. That's our blood, sweat, and tears that went into these albums. No you know what I'm saying? That's, that's, that's hard work. And we know we were all young and might have signed some dumb shit-ass contract. Fuck that, that contract. Let's make it even so we can... And you know what? We're not saying kick, kick, even kick you out. I tried to buy the shit. Mm -hmm. I tried to buy my shit. We tried to as well. I heard, I heard, yeah, yeah, I yeah. heard. I, I, when I tried to buy it, was at Rhino. It wasn't at Warner. Right. Mm -hmm. okay. So, um... But moving on, um, so I just wanted to let y'all know that I personally identify, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I want I wanted the fans to know because you know there's always going to be these 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 young fans, oh those old guys and yeah. blah, 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 and they don't understand what's going on. No, we're not here complaining, man. Exactly. This, yeah. the, it's, this is not a complaint. We're exactly. not out here, you know, chasing the check either. Mm -hmm. uh, this is about doing the right thing. That's yeah, all it is. It's good and hopefully it'll yeah. It, right. You know, it, the, the unfortunate thing in the record business, there is no good business. No, definitely not. You know, and unfortunately, you know, that's been the case for a long time. I mean, movies like, uh, uh, what's the what's the name of that? Cadillac, Cadillac, Cadillac Records, Records and all that. Yeah, that yeah. Doc, that's documenting the same stories. Entertainment's stories. been a racket for years. You know, right. Yeah. And it's just right. now. Right, you know, it's the same thing. Right. This, is, this, is, this, is, this is really about, hopefully, doing the right thing by the artist's and respecting the culture, man. We want we want folks to respect this, man. Like right. outside of outside of the culture, y'all need to respect this. You earning from it. Right. You need to respect what we do. And right. and, and, and in all fairness to 
being 17 years old, signing a contract, right. fresh out of high school, working at Texaco gas station. Big up to Texaco. You know what I mean? <laughs> 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 I was at, what was that, what was that, Busy Bee? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pick them up. Yeah, yeah. 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 You look at the odds of a record deal versus pumping gas at Texaco. Right. Mm. What you gonna right. take? Right. It's real shit. And, uh, and, and having a following all the rules of what you learning vicariously through the music are like a KRS one who's actually saying, yo, guys, get a lawyer. Right. Daddy yo from Stat saying, hey, yo, guys, get a lawyer. Right. Chuck D in this music, he's saying the same thing. Mm -hmm. You know, when they want to address different issues of, so we do, we've done that. Yeah, we've we done all, all of that. that, you know? Mm -hmm. We did our best to read our contracts all of that. and have a lawyer. You this know, is, and, yeah, in addition know. to that, man, like what we fighting for, it's nothing that we based our lives on. We didn't live off of royalties. We never right. did. Yeah. We worked hard for life. Right. Yeah. So it's not like, you know, we're, we're, you know, we're fighting because we've, you know, uh, 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 we've even been able to see what could come to us. We, we've never tasted any of that. Mm -hmm. We're just fighting for the fact that we can possibly leave this stuff to our families. Did mm -hmm. the sampling issue you know I mean? have any effect on any of this current stuff? The, yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. What our question Because they're trying to say they're trying to make up the money from that? I don't, know what, I don't know what they're trying to do, man. Yeah. All, all we know is... But there are things the from things the past are, pending. Yeah. Yeah. Still, yeah. Things are still pending. Because yeah. that was all new back then for hip-hop. Pretty right. much. Like, nobody knew that was going to happen. Like, you guys kind of opened that door to it. Well, degree. yeah, I mean, yeah. You, you figure hip-hop was still very um, localized. You know, New York hip-hop could be New York hip-hop, Texas hip-hop could be Texas hip-hop, and, and so on. So, I mean, like, if you're talking about a record selling in New York and it's only going to sell a certain amount of copies, it was on a record company to say to themselves, like, look, this is going to hit New York, Philly, D.C., I, as a record company, don't see that I necessarily need to clear this sample because it ain't going to really go nowhere outside of that. And, okay, remember what you said. I'm going to also tell you what I think fucked up a lot of things, right? What happened was we would, they would ship out these records, right? Mm. And these records, so let's suppose you shipped out 500,000. Mm. You had 30 days on the return of those records, mm -hmm. correct? Yeah. If those records didn't return, they would automatically say your goal. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yep. I'm saying? Right. You will automatically be gold, but you will immediately be owed that. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Chargebacks on the on the right. You so you can act, those records could actually come back. Yeah. They had thirty days to come back. If they never come back thirty days, they count it as a sale. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And that's how they jerked us. Mm -hmm. That's one way they one jerked us. <laughs> yeah, one of the ways. There's many okay, ways they jerked us. Holy moly, guacamole. <laughs> one of the ways. Right, right. right. Niggas right. got on me and me. Nigga, hold on, nigga. That's the only way. Many ways. <laughs> Their accounting <laughs> is amazing. Yes, yes now nah, that was crazy. And then it was, it was, I remember like, you know, you said it. You said it earlier. I remember like them charging me for shit overseas <laughs> that I've never been to. I was, they was like, yo, uh, you had a billboard and such and such. Nigga, back then there wasn't no internet. So I was mm. like, I had a billboard in London, for real? Mm -hmm. like, you had a, you had a Times Square in Japan. There was no pictures back then. Right. Mm -hmm. But they would charge you for shit like that. You like, what the mm. fuck? Mm. Yeah. I know I'm not bugging. Y'all know what I'm talking no, about. Right? No, no, no. I feel talking like about I'm in church right now. No, you know, I'm not preaching, yeah. goddamn it. Holy boy, I got, the, I got the ghost of the Holy Spirit. I'm telling you, I could air out people that we both know, but I won't air them out right now, that are friends of ours. Okay. When I worked in marketing, that got caught with me by accident. Mm. Faking shit that they were writing off to the artists, mm. getting paid in their pocket, and I wasn't getting paid as a street team. Mm. And then by accident, a check came to me. Uh, Accidentally. Uh, talk about Def Jam people? I'm not, I'm not saying no names, because they're friends of ours. <laughs> Is this Def Jam? And I let them live I, right now. If, if, if but I, I called them out at that moment. And I said, I'm keeping this That's check because it's in my name. Mm. Mm -hmm. nice. And they called me, no, no, give me some of it. I said, no, 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 no. No, sir. You're not getting none of this check. <laughs> I feel like this is a Def Jam. If, I don't know. If, 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 if I, if, uh, <laughs> will you but whistle? It, it was a big check. Will you whistle if I say, if I get hey. close? No, I just, I, I don't know. I, it's not like I'm saying the person's name. Yes, it was Def Jam, no, but. Hey, 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 hey. I'm glad you came up. I'm glad it was you. I'm glad it was you. I'm glad it was you. Thank you, thank you, thank you.
<laughs> take, take. Uh, because you know what would happen was the the reps and the labels they would mm. overcharge for everything they did for, for you guys. Mm. Mm-hmm. No, you know no. What I'm saying? Mm. And they would not yeah. purchase this or not pay for this. And mm-hmm. the street teams, they were just happy. We're, street teams are fans right. that are yeah, happy yeah. to be working right. these records. Right. Real shit. So Real we would shit. do whatever, whenever for these Real artists. Shit. Mm-hmm. Real and shit. the street team exec, the guy running the street teams at the label would take advantage of that. Right. Mm-hmm. I wasn't the guy to take advantage of I'm just talking for myself. Right. I would get you're mad. A stubborn nigga. I That's would right. understand. Yeah, I was like, stubborn. fuck that you're bullshit. You stubborn for hip hop. I respect mm-hmm. you. Yeah, you was, he was <laughs> part of the one percent. Yeah, right. Yeah, right? Yeah. And that's what the, I would see it. That's why I know. But this time I saw done. a check. <laughs> a check came. In. I already knew what was happening, but I never had the proof of the check. Check, right? Yeah. Right. A check came in the mail for a lot of money for a big Memorial Day weekend. Mm. Mm. We usually get paid a little bit more on Memorial Day weekend in those days. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But this time, this check was this big. Right. Mm. Right. And this is where you was a dot too. I don't remember. And then I got it. I was a what? <laughs> what was you say? Dot. <laughs> you know, relax, you buddy. When you were single, you was a wild nigga. Bro. I don't say that. <laughs> and homie called me. Our homie called me. And he said, Yo, you got a check, right? Ah, I, said, I said, I got you. <laughs> Yeah, this industry is crazy. Yeah, no, it is. It's in- we heard all the same stories, man. We heard we had people who really appreciate who we were as an audit as a group. You know, let us know, like, look, man, in your contract. Somebody's if- smoking a dirty? Yeah, I smell something crazy. I, that don't smell good. I don't know, my man. I don't know who is. No, those are my homies from Colombia. Let them live. Let them live. <laughs> <laughs> let them live. Let them live. Yeah. Come in from <laughs> Colombia right there. Good niggas is- let them live, let them live. Let them live, man. We Miami Film Festival. ain't no no shit right We might be, we smoking a little, I mean, I'm not smoking, but they smoking something. That nigga smoking Drink Daddy right there. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. She got all the way up. <laughs> let let, let, let Paul oh, finish his thought. I'm right. <laughs> so sorry, man. The smell of that was fucking me up, my man. I got to light this to try to compete, cause his shit is strong. Oh, <laughs> he got listen, listen. He got to smoke that outside. <laughs> I don't know what he's smoking, but that ain't weed. <laughs> let him live. All right, Paul, let's go. Okay, it's just distracting. Man. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna try to keep him straight face. No. <laughs> I was just saying, you don't smell that shit. Oh, oh, shit. I'm not the only oh, nigga that smells that shit. No, I smell that shit. Smell you smell it, right? It, come on. Homie, can you go outside with that, please? Uh-oh. It's all right, please. Okay. You got the red line. <laughs> His face so red because he he's embarrassed. I, no, like, it's my homies that I brought down for the film festival. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It is. Man. That is. That nigga smoking something different. No, <laughs> no, it's, it's a little different in Colombia right now. They got some extra smokes. I'm, I'm sorry. I right, come, come, come on. Right, my bad. My bad. We, we went too far. We went too far. <laughs> no, I was just saying how um you, we could have people. And I don't need to put their names out there, but okay. people from the label respectfully letting us know like, yo, you know, you know this particular single could've, could've did this, mm. but the machine pulled back because if it would've did what it was supposed to do that it, that it was naturally doing, we would've got more money and mm. being, there. you know, so it's that type of stuff. I mean, like it was being at a, uh, I mean, shit, it was being up at like Tommy Boy and Rush, like, you know, just learning how, you know, these art companies assign artists as his tax write-offs, even like so, you know, mm. the business is a it's and a let them flop on purpose. Yeah, correct? you know, mm. give you that money so you can owe. Yeah, mm. There's so many are. Uh, yeah, no, they purposely know. tank that person's career. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, we had that with Mother Superior from Miami, mm. an amazing artist from Miami. We thought she was it. She was. They called her the the female Nas, mm. Mm. come out of Miami and and island music shelved her. Mm. Wow. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, you know, a lot of those stuff. It's, it's a lot of shit, man. Yeah, man. Well, daylight. So, you know, one thing we yeah. don't want to do is we got the mean gators. I can see that. Look at this. British walkers. British oh, walkers. Oh, British oh, yeah, walkers. Don't. You, you sliding. 
when you walk. <laughs> you slime when you walk. Okay, I see you. I see you, bro. Okay, my brother. Listen, man. Okay, you want to say something? I mean, yo, one thing we, I, don't, I don't want to do is bash. Right. Yeah. But definitely tell a story. You have to tell a story. For what it is, you know. It's history. Yeah, it's totally yeah. history behind what it is. And, you know, it's bad history, once again, but let's hope it just it's makes a lot of real good, change. though. It's a lot of it's good. A lot, you know, yeah, a lot of good. A lot of history, good. You, you say when you say bad history, you just say like well, business the, practice. Well, this, yeah, the business practice. But you guys and, had, and, and, had an amazing and, career. The, yeah. the, business, yeah, yes. the business practice, but based on the perception of the company that represents hip hop. Mm. Mm. And that Tommy the, Boy logo is the hip hop. You know, yeah. that's the B Boy stance. You know, mm. representing the hip hop and still practicing a business model that's. That's definitely like slavery, slavery. Yeah, it yeah. is. Yeah, yeah. You know? So is, is the moral of the story that none of these companies are really hip hop? Like you know, they don't represent. You, we can't say they represent hip hop ultimately at the end of the day. Or do business we owe that to represent them? business? No, business is business, man. No, no, I'm saying that's what I'm saying. Business, business and art are they, <coughs> they don't even. Things. You know, yeah. it's yin and yang. Yeah. It's you know, you all you are what the, you are what you negotiate. You know what yeah. Leo and Russell would say. Yeah. You know. You know. I you don't get, get what you work and get what you negotiate. That's you what get, they say. You get what you negotiate. Yeah, it's fucking terrible. You know, and here it is. You know, in times, you know, we may can overcast ourselves or maybe even undersell ourselves, depending right. on the person you are. You mm. know, depending on where you at in that moment in time in your life, mm. and what you need versus what you, what your situation is at mm. the time. Right. You know, so mm. it's all give, give and take. Here it is. Even hip hop at that time. It was independent for all of them. Def Jam, Tommy mm -hmm. Boy, Select mm -hmm. Records. I mean, from the time I had been conceiving it. Yeah, from they like, were seeking major From 81, 82, you know. Yeah. I think, you know, I, from what I do know, Tommy Boy's relationship with Warner Brothers hadn't been with everything. Mm -hmm. They were still doing their thing. It's mm -hmm. why they did Penalty, because mm -hmm. I think they even saw themselves as a Sony. Mm -hmm. So I could see why you say they were yeah. major, yeah. you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Yeah. Because they didn't see themselves like Def Jam. They've right. been they've been in the game longer than the Def Jam. When wow. you think about it, wow. yeah, yeah. you know, putting out wow. records, yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. putting out records, doing their thing, you know. How many albums you, is under the, uh, you have with them? Six or six, 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 six albums. Yeah. And then there's another album they made up on y'all, right? Like a live like record, a live, or something? yeah. Well, they Rhino, did that to Rhino. Me. That, Rhino. Rhino. that was Rhino. They did that to that me was, too. They that got was, a, a that was Rhino. I got the same story. I'm just telling you. Like, <laughs> they made him a thug the fuck out album. I wouldn't even name that that shit. Come on, they gotta relax. But uh, <laughs> oh man, I just want to salute y'all so much. I just want y'all to know that hip hop is with y'all. We with y'all. Drink champs is with y'all. Um, we know y'all not out here uh, uh, complaining. Y'all out here talking the truth. You out yeah. here yeah, yeah, claiming yeah. What, what, what is y'all? Yeah. What should what should be rightfully yours, you know what I'm saying? And um, I just want to salute you guys to your face, you know what I'm saying? Yo, I want to I want to salute you. Probably. Yeah, no doubt. I want to salute <clears throat> EFN, for yes. real. Like, I want to salute the entire culture that truly stepped up for us, you know um, what I mean? Yes. And helped us make the noise, yes. you know what I mean? And truly seeing what's really wrong with this whole thing, yeah. you know? Mm -hmm. And yo, honestly, whatever he decides to do is what he decides to do at this point. And you know, I want to move on with my life. And like I said, At I don't point. know if I said it earlier. He's I, when I spoke to him, I spoke to him through a third, third person. Um, I talk, called Randy Acker. I told Randy, I said, "Yo, would he call in?" And he said he he didn't want to call he's in. Trying to get he, him to call in. He said, uh, "Oh, I, he wasn't here right. for that part." Um, it was earlier. <laughs> I was trying to get him to call in, and he said that he didn't want to call in because he's actually trying to work it out with you, That's with true. you brothers. Yeah. That's true. So he said he's trying to work it out with you brothers. So he didn't want to mess this up mm -hmm. by you know getting on and, and so so I, I respected that. Mm -hmm. and I didn't yeah. Put, <clears throat> <laughs> but um, so that's true. You said. Yeah, that's okay. true. That's okay. Yeah, okay. that's true. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's that's all we're trying to do. Mm -hmm. That's all we work. That's we, all we've we been just want, trying to do. Right. Yeah. Let's we be just fair we just want to find a happy place yeah. with all this, yeah. man. Right. And we've and been we've been really open to uh, all the dialogue too. coming in from people hearing about this, right. fans or even people who just kind of like on the outside, whether they can let us know like, yo, we support you, right. or it can be like, you know, why did you? Well, why did you sign this or why did you do this? Right. So hopefully, man, even on their side, hopefully they have people having a constructive criticism and speaking to them. If you see them, see Tom, see, you know, speak to him. You yeah, know? I, I think he can, I think he can listen to this interview and actually lead the way. 
You know mm. what I'm saying? Because there's a lot of people who need these albums. Mm -hmm, yeah. I mean, um, Beyond Wanting mm -hmm. need these albums. Yeah. This is a part of hip-hop. That, that is a piece mm. missing yeah. in through helping hip hop. We can't tell the story of hip-hop yeah. and then not have yeah. that there. Yeah, because right it's, now it isn't there. It's yeah. just not there. That's it's like having an empty book. Yeah. Like that's like having and that's a that, book that, with no chapters and that's in being there, no able paragraphs. To, that's being able to see the dual va value. Right. The value is in the culture and the history right. as well as your pocket. Right. And if you only got a concept of one, that's where the problem lies. You know and, what I'm saying? And, and seeing where y'all came in on this so young and early, mm. maybe he should understand that, yo, you just he just has to break even on this to make more money in other areas. Listen, Absolutely. Tom, Nobody you know wants saying? to be the fire festival guy, Tom. Oh. Don't be the fire festival guy, Tom. Yo. Woo! Your, your friend, Don't be that guy. Not even that. Ooh. Don't be the fire yeah. festival yeah. guy. Yeah. 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 I killed that. Uh, I killed yeah. that. Yeah. Not, not, even, not, not, even, not even just that. It's just what we have been able to sustain and achieve. Right. Since they left. Oh, absolutely. We've been yeah. doing our thing and been holding our corner. Yeah. Had we mm. not been holding our corner, yeah. we probably would never said anything. Right. You know right. what I mean? Mm -hmm. We'd have took whatever li little liquid that was coming out of there. It's you know his what I mean? chance to say, you know what? These are kids that I signed. These are kids that was part of their career. Uh, that, that when, and now they're grown men. Mm -hmm. Let right. me do business with them as, as such. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah. As this, such. Is, this is your turn to do that. And you can yeah. lead the way. Right. No doubt. And say, you yeah. know what? I'm going to treat no them like grown men. He can revamp the how, way business is done. How can I honor a contract that, for these kids that they signed when they were 20, mm -hmm. 17, It doesn't have 18. to be a raping yeah. culture. Like you can, you you can it, rectify the situation and say, you know what? I'm going to be a business partner from here on out. Yeah. Partners. Yeah. Is the key word yeah, right? Key absolutely. Without question, without question. Sometimes good partners walk away, and they and they let their. No, we don't want to walk away. Our, our catalog is there. We cannot walk away. No, I'm saying like he That's could he, choice, maybe he could get it back or maybe not or whatever. But I'm saying is it doesn't have back. to all be about him making Yo, the majority no, percentage. Nori, in all himself. fairness, based on what the language has been in the contract, he can truly do what he wants. Right. Really. Right. You know what I'm saying? But he doesn't have to, is what but, we're all saying. Yeah, he can right. make it. He, he can make it. He can make it right. The ball is on he his, can do right ball by, is on his hip hop yeah. is looking now. Yeah. Mm. Now 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 it's not just y'all and him talking. That's mm -hmm. true. It's hip hop true. talking yeah. to him. Yeah. True. Hip hop. No, so yeah, I need that clap. I needed that clap. I needed that clap. And and I truly believe, you know, he 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 he, he should make the right decision. He should. He should. Yeah, he, should. he should. He should. He should. Moving he should. forward, because let's hope I, that he will. I don't yeah. think he needs. The, uh, the, I don't think he needs it. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. No. I think he's well off. Yeah. So he, why not make the people? Hey, and man, if he does hey, need no. it, become good partners with these guys. Exactly. Just do just do the right thing. Yeah. Do the right hey, thing. Man. It'll open doors for new more right. better Absolutely. opportunities, bigger opportunities. It all falls in line. I ain't trying to count his pockets. Right. Exactly. Just do fair business. Exactly. <clears throat> man, do so, fair business, man. <laughs> man, so, man, it, let's bro. salute motherfucker. The legendary motherfucker. Yeah. Okay. On the real. Okay. On the real. Okay. Because I remember, I, I don't know if you forgot to say it, like, because Dave brought it to our attention. Like, when we was obviously all at Tommy Boy, what? you came in to interview us for mm. something. I was already interviewing. You was doing that then. Yeah. Okay, damn. I, like 93. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 93, I was in jail. You bug it. Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> then I had to be like 96. 97. Come on, that's a great jail <laughs> story, though. <laughs> 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 yeah, I was in jail, please. Yeah. Try to give me a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Try to get me out of there. Get me out of there. Yeah, yeah, like 96, 97. Yeah, I'm going to tell you what I had the little camera. Yeah, yeah. For some reason, I knew the internet was going to be the internet. No I don't doubt. know why. I used I, to always film everything. Too. I yeah, yeah, knew, yeah, yeah, I knew, yeah, yeah. I did too. You know what? I didn't know the internet would be the internet. I, I, this is what I knew. Better description. I knew information mm. was instant. Yeah. Mm. And we wasn't living in that time. Mm -hmm. that right, time. right, right, right. I just knew that. Like that, That's what I was saying earlier was I, I was appalled that when I dropped the record, my fans in London wouldn't get it simultaneously. Right? Yeah. Like that would bother me. Well, his, the, who really did it for me was okay. MF Doom. Oh. Word up. Because we don't even know if the nigga MF Doom was performing or not. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, yo, that me, nigga had seven yo, shows yo, in one me, night. Let me tell you, all of that. MF Doom is it. Honestly, that nigga ain't coming. Yo, and let me let you know, <laughs> all of that worked for him. All Why? of it works the for him. Shit, the mysterious shit. The mysterious, mad villain. Like, it's only a handful of dudes that could do a show. Actually, 
set up a show and not show up. Right, right. And he's one of them. We're going to have MF Doom on, on Drink Jams. We ain't going to know if it's him or not. Real shit. Real shit. Real shit. Yo, <laughs> honestly, I, I know we, we may have to wrap shit up. I'm just trying to say, like, back then, even this nigga called it, like, yo, man, like, this dude did a dope job. Like, he could do this shit. Like, right. he said that then, like, when you About me. I mean, I was yeah, like, yeah, like, he was like, yo, like. Yeah, that's real. Though. You know what I'm saying? So to see you doing this. Oh, man, y'all you know see this shit. God damn it, niggas yeah. pull my car all night. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Appreciate y'all brothers. Appreciate y'all brothers. I swear to God, y'all story is so real. It's so real. It's so touching to me. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I would have me leading the same campaign. And I, I figured once I heard y'all, I said, and it wasn't even about me leading my campaign. It was about me joining y'all. Mm. You know you, what I'm bro. saying? And, and, and jumping on and supporting you, y'all with, with y'all need first. Yeah. I would like... I'm not even wanting to negotiate my shit. I want mm. y'all shit to be right first for me to even consider it. Right, and right. then I'm going to follow y'all lead. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what it is. It's not yeah. about selfish, being selfish. Yeah. Sometimes it's about being with the people. And so we, I'm standing with y'all. And, and, and we have you in mind, man. You know what I'm saying? Got we have you in no, mind. No, but I'm y'all first. You first. Right. <laughs> Seriously. Love y'all motherfuckers. Love y'all motherfuckers.